and the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend, the whole time we were together, he would pull my hair. I was pregnant and he would push me up against the wall. And he smothered me with a pillow right in front of my kids. So he's an animal then? Yeah. I never ball. put a pillow on your First of all, you listen. Go my first of all, you, no, you listen. No, you listen. If you can't control your mouth, I'm going to throw you off the go stage. Just... You did abuse my daughter, and you know okay, that. Okay, and I've never yes, once put a pillow on yes, your face, you and I've never once hit my children. Why would I do that? Why you hold a pillow on her face? If I held a pillow on her face, she'd have been gone on one You call her a bitch and a whore? Yes, I do. And I never cheated on him. I stayed faithful. When she's with me, oh, this is your kid, and I just hope you know this is your kid. But as soon as we break up, oh, I hope this kid ain't yours. I hope this kid is black, and I hope you never see her again. Did you sleep with anybody else? I did. You told me you never cheated on her. This story has taken a little bit of a turn. You took a lie detector test before the show. I sure did, sir. You didn't take a lie detector test. I wonder why. A DNA test would probably come in real handy. We'll have you back. We'll do a lie detector test and a DNA test. <laughs> My guest is Roxanne. Roxanne, why are you here? Um, me and my ex-boyfriend, we were in a relationship for two years. We have two kids together, two little girls. Um, the whole time we were together, he used to um, abuse me. Um, he would pull my hair. I was pregnant, and he would push me up against the wall and um, choke me. And He burnt me with the ci a cigarette the day before I went in to have my oldest daughter. Um, he constantly was pushing my jaw up against the floor, up against the wall. Um, he smothered me with a pillow right in front of my kids. Every time he gets angry, he takes it out on me. And what would cause him to get so angry? I mean, are you guys arguing about something? I mean, he, he, he would, it, it could be anything. He could argue with his mom about something and then just turn it on me, like say what, I was cheating on him, and I never cheated on him. I stayed faithful the whole time we were together. I'm that type of person. I have two kids. I'm, I want to settle down. I'm not looking for anything else. Was he a good father? He, he was, but, you know, there was times where one time I came home after work and I seen a bruise on my daughter's leg, and I asked him about it, and he said that um, he, she was sticking her hand in a light socket, and he w punished her, you know, barely hit her, not enough to show a bruise or anything like that. And the next time I asked him about it, he said she fell into the TV stand. So, you know, I want to know the truth Conflicting about that. Conflicting stories. So knowing, I mean, this is pretty severe abuse, I mean, putting a pillow over your face. He spit um, in my face a few, more than once. He's done what? Spit in my face. He spit in your face? Yes. Constantly. So he's an animal then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some of the things that uh, my producers, uh, you told my producers that he does to, he's pulled your hair, mm -hmm. pushed you against the wall. Mm -hmm. Put you in headlocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this is a, a beautiful one. Bit you so hard it left a bruise. On my lips. Calls you a bitch and a whore. Mm -hmm. Put a pillow over your face, as you said. Tried to suffocate you. Dragged her across the floor by her arms and legs. Mm -hmm. Burnt her with a cigarette the day before she gave birth. Why did he do that? Um, I was talking to my sister, and he left and came back and just started calling me all kinds of names telling me I'm a whore and I I shouldn't be with my sister and I should come home with him and you know I just left just to keep an argument down I left with him and on the way walking back um, he just was smoking and reached down and burnt me with it spit on you every time you fight mm -hmm. how come after any of this happens and I know the first time you're a little stunned and you don't know what to do mm -hmm. But when it becomes a pattern of abuse that keeps happening over and over and over, uh, one, you know, you got pregnant, you got a child, but then he's doing all this abuse. How'd you have a second kid with him? I was scared to leave. I figured my mom wouldn't want me back because I lied to her. I, I've always hid it from her. I never told her the truth about it. And... But don't you think your mom would want to protect you from this kind of behavior? <laughs> I know that.
now. What gave you the courage to eventually leave? Um, the day he put a pillow over my face. The day he put a pillow, mm -hmm. you said that's the last straw. Mm -hmm. I, um, the next day, I, because I just stopped all the arguing, I gave up. And the next day, I told him I was going to go to my mom's to do laundry, and I never went back. Um, all right, let's uh, meet this young man that uh, you were involved with, that you have two children with. His name is Andrew. Let's bring out Andrew. Man, this is I've never once in my life put a okay, pillow over your face. Okay, stop. Yes, no, I'm stop. not stopping. This yes. is First of all, you listen. You listen. You can't control your mouth. I'm gonna throw you off the stage. Well, this is. This is. Did you sleep with anybody else? I did. You told me you never cheated on. This story has taken a little bit of a turn. We'll have you back. We'll do a lie detector test and a DNA test. Came back this week. Took a lie detector test. Let's get to the results. We'll see. You want to do the show? Yes, I want to do the yes, show. Do the well, show. then stop swearing. Well, then you, hey, idiot! Did you just no, hear what you said? Idiot. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You're on TV. I okay, can't I use any it. of this. So, if you want to do the show, well, then do you the show. Invited me. I didn't invite you. You obviously did. You're a guest you on me. my show. You want to be on it or not? I don't care. You don't care? I, I want to be here and I want to work it out, but this oh. is lying. I've never put a pull over. Stop a swearing, moron. Well, Stop I'm swearing. I'm not. Well, then we're not doing the show. I'll throw well, your let's ass be out honest. Let's be honest show. here. Yeah, then. let's be honest. Yeah, let's and be I'm honest. telling you, we ain't going to do the show unless you clean your mouth up. Well, she needs to start being honest then. Okay, well, then go out there and talk to her like a human being. Well, maybe she should stop lying and I would. Well, if, you can get, if you can get out there long enough to stop your mouth, then maybe you can go out there and talk to her. It's your relationship. Well, obviously, you, got your your you got your woman out there talking Dang, about how you... Well, you had two children with her. Well, obviously, she's out here lying, so okay, obviously let's say this. in the first place. Let's say this. The mother of your children's out there, and she's saying you abused her. And that's a lie. Okay, well, then why don't you go out there and, like, a gentleman and not an animal... Go out there and talk like a human being, okay? Let's do this. You gotta start judging me, hold on, because I love this woman from the start. And I and I've tried my hardest, and every time I've tried, all she wanna do is find excuses to go to her mom's, where she knows her ex-boyfriend is, where she knows all of her ex-boyfriends hang out. All she does is every day find an excuse, oh I gotta do laundry, even though she just did laundry two days ago. Oh, I gotta go hang out with my sister. You just hung out with your sister yesterday, but you're gonna go with your mom to hang out with your ex-boyfriend just to hurt me, but you say you love me for I two never, years. Never, but I put never, a pillow over your face. Once. I've yes, never you once did. put a pillow yes, over your face, and I've never once hit my children. Why would I do that? Why would I do that in front of my kids? Why would I start to Mother, tell mother, me. My kid. You tell you're me. You're lying. No, you're lying. I'm not. You're I spit in your face, Roxy. I told you, Roxy, you're lying. Yes, you did. You're lying. Andrew, let me, let me ask you Yes, something. I've been in the heat moment. Yes, I've grabbed her here. Yes, I've pushed her off me. But you Andrew. know what? I did that to detain her because Andrew. she came at me crazy. Okay, let me ask you something. You see her up here, and I'm talking to her, and she's sitting in that chair, and she's crying, and she's talking with all this emotion. You tell me. Is this a characteristic? Is this normal behavior of somebody that's... You look at her face right now. You tell me she's making all this up? I tell you she's lying because I've neglected Is she different. making yes, all she this, up. this up? I'm going to go down this list and you tell me true or untrue. To any degree. Pulled her hair? True. Pushed her against the wall? True. Put her in headlocks? Not true. Choked her? Not true. Grabbed her by her jaw? I grabbed her by the wrist to detain her from swinging on me. Bit her so hard it left a bruise. She talks about you biting you know, her lips. You know what? We was kissing each other one day and we was both playing. She bit down on my bottom lip. I bit down on her top lip and she had a bruise. Call her a bitch and a whore? Yes, I do. Put a pillow on her face? No, sir. Dragged her across the floor by her arms and legs? No, sir. Burnt her with a cigarette the day before she no, gave sir, birth? No, sir. That was from a sparkler that we had on the 4th of July. Um, spit on her every time you fight? I've spit on her a few times, yes, sir. You know, okay. 
No, you, yeah, like I said, I've been in here. Okay, moment. I've but, done things I regret. Don't let, we all? Let me, let me ask you something. Ain't no one in here. Ain't nobody in here perfect. Everybody. Made I, a you mistake. know what? I'm not perfect. And let me tell you something, Andrew. I've been in situations, violent situations, where I was fighting to save my life. You know what I mean? When I was a cop, I was fighting at times to save my life, and I've never, ever. I've been called names, disgusting, vile names. I've had garbage thrown at me. I've had <laughs> thrown at me, and I've never ever spit in a human be being's well, you face. Know what? Have you ever and no, wait, hold well, on, you know hold what? on, hold no, on. No, no, you are not. No, no, you are not. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> now, I'm dealing with people that hated my guts. They would like to see me dead as a policeman. Okay, well, do you, have, is, some, do you have somebody that says they this, supposedly love you for this, so many years? Tell this you is the mother. Somebody else. This, have is you had the, that? this is the mother of your children. No matter what your problems are, you spit in her face. Is there anything more disrespectful no, sir. than spitting in the mother no, of your sir. children's face? No, what if? Sir. You got two little girls, right? Yes, sir. You think about it. Someday, let's say I'm round. Well, how four. would that make you feel? Somebody's telling you you hit your your daughter. How would that make you feel? If when somebody, you know you didn't. Uh, well, how, you know what? If some young man told me they spit in my daughter's face. There's not everybody in this room can hold me back. But, but it's okay for her to spit back, right? No. It's okay for her to spit no, back. No, you know what? It's not. It's you know what? You know what? It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay for her to put her hands on you. But as a man, as a big man like you, big strong guy like yourself, this little woman here. If she starts, if I'm dating her and she starts attacking, you know what I do? Hey, but do you know her? You know, do you know her It doesn't matter if I yes, know her. Yes, it does know. Do no, you know her personally? You know do you know I, what she can do? You know what? Do you know what she you does? You know what? I've do, known a lot of women like her. But do you know her? I know, no. Exactly. But it doesn't exactly. matter. But it does matter no, because you don't matter. know her. You, you don't know, know how she because acts. Because any action that she would take, I would do the same thing I would do in any other situation. Well, you know what? If you feel like you're doing something, you would do something in two ways. You took a lie detector test before the show. I sure did, sir. You didn't take a lie detector test. I wonder why. The DNA test would probably come in real handy, and the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. Hey, get off me! Do you hit him like he says? No. So you never initiated when, when attack he, on him? When he hits me, when I push him off. When he hits you, you, you try to fight. Do you ever spit on him in his no. face or anything like no. that? You don't You've spit on spit him. You've never spit on me, Roxy? No. You've never spit on no. me, Roxy? Come on, be honest. Stop swearing. Be honest. I am being honest. You never spit on no, me, Roxy? I put that on something. I put that You're on my lying. kids, I have You are lying. Andrew, let me ask you, why are you here today? Why am I here? Because yeah. I thought that I was coming here to work something out. Well, she said, I mean, I'm not going to lie for her. You probably were backstage. She said... That if you could change... But you know how many times I've heard this? You know how many well, times I've heard so this? Well, so I'm asking you. It, if she's you open to it... Overnight. Oh, okay. Why well, are it's you just here? fine for me to change, but not her, right? Oh, just you change, and I'm going to still do me. I'm going to still go be with every swing Listen. that's out there. Listen. And you go ahead and do... You go ahead and go change. <laughs> go ahead and go change, Listen, right? I honestly... Nah. Listen, Andrew. I don't care whether you get back together with her or not, okay? I really don't. Okay. I, in fact, I would advise her against it. But if you really love her, and you're here because you said... You're on the impression that you can get her back. I don't think in any way that you're acting here is going to get this young Why? woman because, back because, to you. Because she wants to sit out here because and lie to everybody. At least, at least be woman enough to tell the truth. Because you're angry. Yes, I'm going to be you're... angry because you got to lie. Okay. Tell the truth. Just okay. tell the truth, and we'll all be fine. Okay. Has she ever cheated on you? I believe so. Do I know for sure? No. Okay. What, why do you think that she cheated on you? Because she would always find an excuse to go to where her ex-boyfriends were. Did you, did you go by your ex-boyfriend? No, my ex-boyfriend had another girlfriend that he was with, and I never. Well, don't I just stop went you from my, doing what you did. I obviously. just went to my mom's house to visit with my family. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you went to visit your family every day, every day of the week. anything else. Every day of the week, you went to visit your What's family. What's wrong with What's, that? What, what, yeah, what is wrong with that? Okay, because why every day it's another excuse. Why is one day it's to do laundry? Next day, when you just did laundry. Next day, it's to go hang out with your sister. Next why day, it's to come up with an excuse. Because you're lying. Because you know what? When we had our first daughter, it was in between me uh, me and the African-American, and she told me this. And then she's going to, uh, uh, when, when, when she's with me, oh, this is your kid, and you, I just hope you know this is your kid. But as soon as we break up, oh, I hope this kid ain't yours. I hope this kid is black, and I hope you never see her again. 
Now, okay, now you're going to you, tell me that, but, but you expect have, me to text you back you and tell you I love you, But you have your kids now, right? No, I don't. What I'm saying is your kids are born, and you could tell the difference if it was from an African, no, African you, no, American. No, you can't buy her. No, no, you cannot tell the difference. You cannot tell if she was black or Mexican. She was, she, she, you could tell. Okay. You can't tell. So you can't tell. You're not sure. No, we're not. You, you, you tell him. Is he the father of your two children? Yeah. Did you is. sleep with anybody else? I did, but I told him that, and he told me that no matter what, that that was his kid, that he was going to love her and take yeah, care of her no matter her. what. Something because that you have no respect of. You told me you never cheated on him. Right. I didn't. But it was it's something that happened when we first got no, together. We together no, we weren't together. We had broke up. Right after the fact of us. So you became pregnant, and there is a possibility that somebody yes, else is the father. Yes, but I did, whenever yeah, I had my um, ultrasound, they did it. I had counted the days up, and it did it the exact counted, day for me and him. Counted the days up. Like, you, could just count, you can just count a pregnancy. You can just count, oh, yeah, it's been 10, 15, 20 days. Oh, yeah, the kid's yours. In all fairness, this uh, story has taken a little bit of a turn. Um, when you came out, I hated your guts. Um, and I hate what you did with her, and you know it was wrong. I hate what I did, but too. It sounds like there's two sides to this story. Like it's not as. You took a lie detector test before the show. I sure did, sir. Um, you didn't take a lie detector test. What I, I wonder would, why. And, I wonder why. And um, it does sound like this is a, a case of where a DNA test would probably come in real handy. Yes, sir. Would answer your yes, questions. Sir. We didn't know this. We would have done this had we known it. We well, would see, have offered they it. Called me, they told me they was going to do that, but I guess it didn't okay. happen. Okay, so what I'm going to offer is, um, I know to the disappointment of our audience, but in fairness to you and to this story, I would love to do the story. I would also uh, invite you to do the show next week. We're taping on Tuesday. I would like you to come back, do the show, but with addition to your lie detector test, I would like you to take a lie detector test. Yeah. Why don't you do that? And I would also. But you know what? I'm I would also, enough, you can read mine. You can go ahead and read mine. Well, I'm right, I would also mine. offer to a DNA test so you would know if you're the biological father to. <laughs> Just so I get the story straight, there's only one child that you question uh, yes, sir. whether you're a father. Yes, sir. Okay, so would you agree to this? Yeah, I do. Would you agree to this? Yes, sir. All right, so this is part one of the show. To be concluded next week, we'll have you back. We'll do a lie detector test and a DNA test. We'll see you next week. You were asked, did you ever physically hit your oldest daughter with excessive force? You answered no. Did you hold the pillow over Roxanne's face two months ago? You answered no. And the results for that lie detector test. Is that One week ago, we started to tape a show involving abuse. It took an unexpected turn, so we brought them back after giving them both lie detector tests and DNA tests. Please welcome Andrew and Roxanne back to the stage. Come on, you didn't forget that soon. <laughs> Got to stand up. Um, Andrew, has anything changed in the last week? No, sir. I mean, I still would like the DNA test, and I'd still like the results. You believe Roxanne cheated, and that's, it's unusual. We never did that before. Um, we never stopped the show and then brought somebody back, so this is the first time it's happened. Um, you believe Roxanne cheated. We gave her a lie detector test. Um, if she passes... I mean, if she passes, I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell her I'm sorry and I love her, you know, and I just assume things. But, you know, it's, it's kind of odd that she always wanted to be around her ex-boyfriends or find a reason to go to where her ex-boyfriends were at, you know, so. And if uh, she fails? Um, I'm still give her the same respect and, you know, just walk off stage. You know, but you, will you still be with her? Or? Um, no, I would not like to be with her. And Roxanne, do you still want to be with him? No. You don't want to be with no. him? It's not going to change. It's so, so, it's, so either way... Whether you pass, whether you fail, you say you know he abused you, right? Mm -hmm. So there's nothing in your mind. So you're saying after today, you're going your own separate way? Yeah. 
Um. <laughs> Roxanne, your mom is here. Let's bring her out. Get out of my you face. Know you know what you did to her. Hear, because man. you're your mouth is as big as your stomach. Your mouth is as big as your stomach. That's right. Keep talking. That's right. Keep talking. I am fair. You've been and used... I am a yeah, big yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. But, what but you, know you, what? you know what? You're I don't want to hear you talking. You're a coward you know, and you're a liar. You know, okay. And if you're so. Okay. And if you're so. Let's keep doing to her dad. Okay. Her dad jumped me. How big of a man is that? Yeah. You know what? You did abuse my daughter, and you know that. Okay. And if I abuse your daughter, how come you never was a mama about it like you say you are and got around that relationship? Because she let you get in Have you seen Andrew physically abuse your daughter? No, she yes, has I not. have. No, she has you not. That's a lie. Put a lie detector test. Hold on, hold on. Hold on uh, uh, anytime. What, what did you see him do? I've seen him drag her. When we were at my house at, at, about probably a year ago, he was upstairs, and I heard them fighting. You're and I said, what are you mind. doing, on, Andrew? I said, what are you doing, Andrew? What are you doing to her? He said, nothing. I go upstairs, and he's going like this to her hair. And I seen her shake it off like she was trying to protect me from seeing what was going on. And when you saw this, what did you do? I told him to get out, and I told her to go downstairs. Why, she told me to go out, why, but I still Why didn't you call the police? I did call the police. He was on an ankle monitor, and she begged me not to have him, not to call the police and put him in jail. But she's such a good mom, but if this was the truth, she would have put me in jail, correct? You're lucky I don't yeah, have the yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, lucky yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah, the power. Yeah, yeah, You're lucky yeah, she's yeah, too yeah, old. Yeah, shut up. You don't tell me to shut well, up. Quit talking nothing. to me. Quit talking to me. Look at who quit you are. Quit talking to me. Look at who you're I am. You're a woman. Yeah, leader. I'm a man. Who That's are you? Who you are? Who are you? A man? Yeah, I'm you're a man. You're not worthy to call yourself a man. And you're not worthy to call daughter. yourself a man. You hold a pillow yeah. over her if face. If I hold a pillow over her face, she'd have been gone, wouldn't she? If you were such a mom, you would have took her a long time ago. Yeah, shut up. Until she passed. I dare you. Shut up. Your mouth is as big as your stomach. Just shut up. Listen. Come on. Such a big man. Listen. Big man. Listen. If he's doing all this and he is the bad guy, and, you know, even though she's begging, why not throw his ass in jail? Thank you. I wish that I could. I wish Thank I had you. that before. Thank you. I will say this, it's, though, Steve. It's not that you need the authority. You call the police and say, hey, abuse my daughter. I will tell you this much. If it comes back that he's lying and he abused my granddaughter, I will not let it rest until he's locked up behind bars and never gets out. I'll stand at the police department. You do I'll be at your door. You do what you got you you got okay, okay. I've never abused my kids. I've loved my kids since day one. Yeah, but you know shot. what? I have witnessed Where's this woman diapers, right here wipes? grab my daughter by her arm, pick her up, and spank her ass for put her oh, in on, on a light switch. Watch pick her up by her arm, one yeah, arm, and spank you, her. Do you believe who's abusing who? Do you believe Andrew abused your grandchildren? Yes, I do. You do believe yes, that? That's a lie. And so you're saying today, if he fails this test. You're going to go to police and you're going to make sure that there's uh, an investigation into it. Damn in straight. Okay. Why do you believe that he abused your grandchildren? Because when my granddaughter was just about a month old, they were living with me at my house. And I had told Andrew and Roxanne that she had a hairline like her mother. Andrew says, no, she looks like me. She looks like my mom. And I said, no, she looks like Roxanne with that hairline. The very next day, she comes downstairs and her head shaved. Never not once. Her That's head a lie. was shaved. Never not once. They That's said, oh, she rubbed it off with her arm. Your daughter well, I rubbed said it that. off with my arm. Your daughter told you she that. She rubbed so her hair off? Lying. Yes. She rubbed the head of that's, her hair off. That's what Drew said. That you, you, they just said she this what your daughter off. told you. How, with her arm. How did your daughter end up with a shaved head? She never did. That's the lie. Show me a picture of a shaved head. Hold on. Did your daughter have a shaved head or not? I don't know if it was shaved or not. Oh, but, yeah, it, it, but it was shaved, but she don't know. But she don't know. Wait, wait. No, how old was know. the baby? A one month old. The ba One month old with a head full of hair? You didn't notice. I called wait, hold on. You didn't notice if your daughter's head was shaved no, or not? No, it, it, her head, like at the top, it did, was gone, but I didn't there know if it could be just like spot, as, you know. like me. Well, wouldn't it be suspicious if he's talking about her hairline one day and the next day yeah, she doesn't have a hairline? Yeah, it is suspicious. I, I would like to know the truth about it. I don't know. We stopped the show last week because um, we had not given Roxanne a lie detector test. Uh, you said you'd be willing to take one. Mm -hmm. You guys, uh, you came back this week. You took a lie detector test. Let's get to the results. <laughs> Roxanne, you were asked, did you ever have any type of sexual physical physical contact with anyone else 
while you were in a relationship with Andrew? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else while in a relationship with Andrew? You answered no. The results for Roxanne's lie detector test is that she told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get an apology? Thank now? you. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. And then we also asked you, have you ever been physically abusive towards Andrew? You answered no. Did you fabricate the story that Andrew physically abused your oldest daughter? You answered no. Are you fabricating any part of the allegations you're making against Andrew physically abusing you? You answered no. Did you ever hit your oldest daughter with excessive force? You answered no. And the results for these questions on your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Thank you. Andrew, you took a lie detector test. Yes, sir. And you were asked, did you ever have any type of sexual physical contact with anyone else while you were in a relationship with Roxanne? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else while in a relationship with Roxanne? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you... Did you ever have any type of sexual physical contact with anyone else while you were in a relationship with Roxanne? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else while in a relationship with Roxanne? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> We gave him the test not once, but twice, so he, we took the test. <laughs> and you failed both of them. And maybe it's best that you're backstage, Andrew. Then we asked you about the abuse, and you were asked, did you ever physically hit your oldest daughter with excessive force? You answered no. Did you shave your oldest daughter's head after Laura made a comment that her hairline looked like Roxanne's? You answered no. Did you hold a pillow over Roxanne's face two months ago? You answered no. Did you ever physically abuse Roxanne in front of your children? You answered no. And the results for that lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. That is man. That is a lie. That is a lie. I've never once touched my That is a You liar! There's man. proof! I've never touched my kids. No. Now, Roxanne, it's one thing when a woman stays in an abusive relationship for whatever reason, and it's, it's a difficult position to be in. And there's many reasons why women stay, and there's probably many reasons why you stayed. You say that you came here today realizing, as you say, that Andrew's not going to change. So I hope you mean that. I do. The fact that he failed about abusing his own children, um, you know, and not even, you know, the physical abuse is one thing, but the abuse of even cutting your your daughter's hair because she made a comment that looks like you. These are scary things. This is yeah, scary it behavior. Is. I'm, I, I may and if put you don't, up with if it. you don't put, get yourself out of that situation, your children out of that situation, I just think this might be something that might escalate. You could be in a really dangerous situation. Uh, Mom, you said that if he failed this lie detector test, that you were going to take action, I get am. the authorities involved about the abuse against can your I grandchildren. Have a copy of that? You can have a copy, and I hope that you will live up to what you said on the I stage will. and follow through. I hope that you'll convince your daughter to stay away from Andrew. Um, make sure she doesn't go back into that. Oh, we also have the DNA test, which I forgot all about. Um, and why is there a question about uh, the DNA? Well, um, when I had first found out I was pregnant, um, me and Andrew were together before, <laughs> and the day after we had sexual intercourse, um, we had broke up. He broke up with me, actually. 
Um, I was at my friend's house and um, another guy friend that I know came over and we were really good friends. I started drinking and I started taking pills, which I know I'm not supposed to do, but um, it ended up leading one thing into another. And You um, had sex with somebody else? Yes. And so there is a question whether yes. that person or Andrew but, with one of your children. Right, but I've always told him the truth. I didn't even yes, want to tell has. him at first because until I knew th All right. the truth. Well, let's let's find out. Andrew, you took a DNA test before the show, and you are the father of Roxanne's youngest child. Um, Andrew also took a DNA test concerning your oldest child. Yeah. This is the child that he has questions about. Andrew, you are not the father. No. You're awfully. No. No. I hate you. Do you want to come out on stage and say anything? No, man, I'm, I'm going to go. You want to go? I'm going to go. Well, then you can go. Get the hell out Bye. of here. Bye. Bye. My face, bitch. Look at that kind of girl now. He is anyway. Right? <laughs> That's a violent man there. Yeah, he is. And yes, he is. everybody can see that with their own eyes. You came here today because you wanted answers about the paternity of your children. You found that out. Um, you knew about the abuse. There's no question. You know, in your mind, you were there. You lived it. You saw it. Um, you had questions about whether it abused your grandchildren. You got the proof now. I hope you'll be strong enough. I hope with the support of your mother that you will not go back to Andrew. It's one thing with me, but I'm not going to put up with it with my kids. And you know what? I Don't can't. put it up for yourself anymore yeah. either. I'm not. <laughs> I wish you all the luck in the world. Take care of your kids and find a man someday if that's what you want. Find a man that'll treat you with respect and not abuse you. Okay? Good luck to you. Good luck to you. There's more to this story. We offered Roxanne another DNA test to find out for sure who the father of her child is. And she's back again. Stay tuned. Roxanne, you, it's been about two weeks since you were here. This is your third time on the show. And last time you were on, I said, if you want to come back, uh, take another DNA test, because we took one with mm -hmm. uh, the gentleman that you were on with before. And I used the term loosely with gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, but we found out he wasn't the father. Um, you're here today because why? Um, there was a possibility of someone else being the father. And, and you brought that person here yeah, today. Yeah, and I just want him to be in my daughter's life. I want my daughter to know her dad. And Are you still with Andrew? No, I'm not. Oh, you guys broke up? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, why did you break up? Um, ever since I found out that he was abusing my daughter, I've changed my phone number and I've moved and I don't talk to him at all anymore. Well, good for you. <laughs> and, and that's your little girl there. Yeah. Um, now, you said that there was a possibility that another man um, could possibly be the father of your child. Mm -hmm. We offered to give you a DNA test. Uh, that person's here. Uh, his name is Marcus. Let's bring him out. What's up? You're here today because uh, you took a DNA test. Yes. Um, you find out that you might be uh, the father of her child. And how old is your child again? 17 months. 17 months. If you are the father, you basically missed out on 17 months of your child's life. Right. I mean, that would be... Like, it's hurtful, for real, because that's 17 months. You know that she didn't get to be around me and I couldn't be around her, you know? And... Like, you was with Drew, you know, 
this man was putting his hands on you, and you said he was putting his hands on her, you know what I'm saying? That's a bad predicament you putting you and the baby in, you know? And okay, it, but you gotta understand that I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I mean, he was abusing me. Like, you know, he was abusing no, me. But see, but you could've came to me, though. Okay, but I didn't know, I was scared. You know, that, how do I know what he's gonna do? Right, but I could've been there to protect you from that man, though. I wouldn't have let that man come down. I wouldn't let that man put his hands on your head You know, like, he, he, no. Oh. You know, and 17 months, you know, without her knowing her real dad, you know what I'm saying, is yeah. kind of messed up on her part and mine and yours. Okay, you but know? I'm here trying to make it work. I'm trying to right. help you, know, you out and, and help you know, you know her. She wants to know you, well, you want to know her. But here's the one thing I'm, that is running through the back of my head. What if you took this test and you're not the father? Then <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is, that would be crazy, I guess. Right, I mean... It blow my mind. Is there any possibility that Marcus is not the father? No. Is there any interest in being with Marcus now? Me and Marcus are friends. I don't have any interest in being with anybody. I just want to take care of my kids and be with myself. I mean, I feel the same way for my life together. Do you do you have any interest in in being with her? I mean. Yeah, if it works out that way later down the line, you know, like like she said, I'm really not trying to be with nobody either. I'd rather get my life together. You're still know. working on, like you said, you're a young guy, you're only 20 years old, trying to get your life together. But if it is your daughter... I'll, then I'll be there for her, you know, just like I'll be there for her too. Because you're you friends. You guys are saying you're friends. Right. Um, at one time, friends with benefits, right. it sounds like. Um, <laughs> No, but I, I'll be there for her just as much as I'll be there for her. Right. You know, I'm, I'm you'll be friends with her, but right. you'll be dead to her. Yeah, I'll be dead to her. Okay. And are you hoping that you are the father of this child? I am. You are hoping I am. I'm being are. honest, I am. <laughs> well, Marcus, let's find out if you're the father of this little girl. Ready? Well, your third time on the show, third time's a charm. Marcus, you're the dad. Yeah. 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 Are you happy that I'm the father? Are you happy that I'm the father? Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have her be mine than that, guys. Yeah, would too. Your reaction to finding out that you are... Is this your first child? No, this is my second. All right. Your reaction to finding out that this little girl's yours? I'm happy. You're I, happy. I am. Because I, I know it's going to be taken care of. It should be in good hands. At least I know she's going to be with that other guy. Have you ever... Uh, is your little girl here? Yeah. Um, when's the last time you saw this little girl? What, two days ago? Monday? Two days ago? Where you went and took the DNA test? That was the first time you ever saw her, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the first time you ever saw her was just a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. You find out you're your father. This is the first time that you're going to see her knowing that you're right. dead, right? Right. All right. He's dead. I'm dead. Right? Are you happy about that? <laughs> yeah. Let's go back and see your daughter. <laughs>
accuse me of this, Brad. You know I don't hit her. You don't have My to daughter comes twice. to me with bruises, oh, scratches, bruises. bug bites all over. Since we split up, he's trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. I want to fight for my daughter's safety. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? If Does your daughter get hurt because you're a neglectful mother? No. And you put this lie at the test. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. At the age of 12, Coleman got Mandy pregnant with their first child. And since then, they've had two more children. But now, Coleman has some concerns. He says Mandy is an unfit mother, and he thinks he might not be the father of either child. Take a look. I'm here today to prove to my ex-boyfriend that he is the father of our two kids. Me and Coleman were off and on for 12 years. I got pregnant with our first child. I was 14 and he was 12. We were very scared. We were shocked. We didn't know if we were going to be good parents, if we were going to be ready. Coleman favors our oldest child. And when we broke up, he started denying and neglecting our youngest child. I was very, very angry and I was hurt. Coleman has been with his girlfriend for two months. And I want to know if that's maybe the reason why Coleman is denying the youngest, if maybe she is putting things in his head. I have to hold my son when he cries for his daddy, when he goes through the door and he screams daddy and he goes to the room and he looks at my fiance and he's still screaming for daddy. Like my fiance, he doesn't consider him daddy even though he's been there, but he still wants his daddy. And I don't feel like this is fair to the youngest because Coleman has been in his life for two years and all of a sudden no phone calls, no show ups and it just hurts. It really does. And I want him to know today that he is the father of our two kids. That way we can get over this and move on and be civil and be good parents to both of our kids. That's all I want. Uh, Coleman, that's your ex-girlfriend on the tape? Yes, sir. As she said, i been a father since I was, well, 13 when, when she had the child. And <laughs> I've, I've done the best I can between school. I mean, right after that. I mean, how the, good are you going to do when you're 13 years old? I, well, I, I, I feel, you know, no one's perfect by any means. But I but feel I'm saying that, 13, I mean, how can anybody expect a 13-year-old boy to be a good father? Exactly. And, and you're right. But in, in my opinion, I, I did the best I could. I, right. I went to school. In the summers, I worked at 13 years old. I did the best that I could. So you get her pregnant, though, and I, I'm, I'm assuming the parents got involved, right? That's correct. And that child was taken away. That's correct. Because well, a 12-year-old and a 14-year-old. Correct. Because of our age and due to Mandy being so neglectful, uh, CPS did get involved, and they took our child. So I only had maybe a week or two with my child directly, and then I actually went out of town to work at 13 years old. What kind of job did you get? Uh, I was doing, like, landscaping, okay. so handy, manual handyman labor. work, stuff okay. like that. Yes, All sir. Right. You know, our child got taken, and I was still trying to do the best I can. And then we re re reunited, trying to be... Uh, oh, did, did your parents separate the two of you? Well, they tried to. And I, on my part, I rebelled against that. I, I wanted to be with her. I wanted to be a family. I, Were I, you living I, together? I, yes, sir. At, at 15, 16, we... Got your own place? Um, at first, we stayed with family members and then kind of graduated up to that, um, as well as anybody else would do. I mean, it's it a lot very, older, but... It had to be very hard, though. It was very, very hard. I gave up my teenage years, my partying, my fun, everything to be a father. And then we, we had our second child. How, how far after the first child? Um, Let's see, uh, probably four or five years later. So now you're like 17? Correct, yes, right. sir. At 17, were you planning on having another baby? N none of our kids were planned. Okay. And after the child was born, everything just simply... What, was a little boy, little girl? It was a little boy. Okay. And a after that, everything went downhill. What went downhill? Uh, the whole relationship. She, she was going out cheating. She's admittedly Sleeping cheating. with other guys. Correct. She was just simply not being a mother. I was the housekeeper. But at this point, she's still just a young girl. And she is. But, but the difference is... is you I impregnated a 14-year-old. I stepped up, and she did not. She, she chose the going out, being with this person, that person, going and doing whatever it is that okay, she's done. Okay, and that done. made you mad. It made that me made mad. That made you so mad 
It made me mad. Then you got her pregnant the third time. It, it, it did. <laughs> Throughout the relationship, I, I want to be a family Why man. Why did you get her pregnant the third time after she's running around, cheating on you, not being because a mother? Because I want to be a family man. Oh, I, come I, on. I, wanna, I, I wanna do what I'm supposed to, what, what I'm, as a man, supposed to. So you get her pregnant the third time, and you're still trying to keep it together, right? I'm trying to keep it together for my boys. Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. Why do you think this is going on? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. She, she has herself. been more of a mother Does in three months than you ever been in three years. You're, you're crazy if you think you're going to be a mama to Guess my what? kids. No. Guess what? Guess Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. Why do you think this is going on? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. She, she has been herself. more of a mother Does in three months than herself? you have been in three years. Why do you say she's an unfit mother now? Simply because I've seen it. I've lived with her. I know everything. She doesn't change our kids' diapers. When's the diapers. last time you live with her, though? Uh, I finally got fed up with everything and, and wanted the end of everything to happen five months ago. Five months Roughly ago. Roughly about four or five so months ago. So you've only been separated four or five months. Correct. Yes, sir. And in those four or five months, she's not fit, Mom. Correct. I mean, within the whole three years. How is she unfit, though? She does not change my kids' diapers. How old are they? Two and three years old. Okay. She does not change their diapers. She does not give them baths for days at a time. How do you know this? Because I've been there. Whenever I go to work and my kids... So you, how often do you go over and see your kids? As of right this second, my two-year-old, I moved uh, roughly a few months ago out of town, about three or four hours away, and my intentions were to go back and get my two-year-old. I had to beg, Mandy, to take my two-year-old... Oh, so you have one of them? Yes, I, I have my three-year-old. You have your oldest? Yes, sir. Was she okay with you taking a three-year-old? She, she never has contested anything in the past. So she was they, like, they, The kids have always been with she me. She wanted you to take both kids. Yes. And she, you had to beg her to keep the two-year-old. Yes. I, I've, I've so always was, had the kids. She was never a good mom, you're saying. She's never, she's, never, she's never been there to even prove that she has or has not been a did mother. Did you ever finish high school? No, I did drop out to work full-time. Okay. Um, the living conditions at her house. I walk in there. There is rotted food. There is trash. My, my kids' toys thrown out over the floor in the kitchen. You cannot even barely see the trash can because there's so much trash. Then I go and get the last-minute things in the bathroom, and, and it's stopped up. It's, I mean, my kids could just, it's disgusting. Uh, you say there's lice and, uh, and on the kids and rashes? She didn't have them but a day and a half, maybe two days. Come back. My son, my youngest son, has a rash all the way halfway up his stomach. His, his diaper was just engulfed with pee and, and everything. And it was just disgusting. So then I change his clothes. I get him cleaned up. I'm doing his hair. And I see little things crawling around everywhere. His, his hair was infested and just completely infested with lice. I had to shave my two-year-old son head because he had head lice because of her neglect not taking care of it herself. What do you want today? Today, I want the truth to come out about everything, about to, to simply give me the peace of mind, because these are my boys no matter what. Even I, if the DNA test came back and said they're Even if the DNA test come back, they're still my boys. I, I love them. Let's bring out Mandy. How did everything I'm supposed to? No, you have You worked a day in your life. Mike. I do. Every single thing. And you know what? The trash? You were living there at the time. You and <laughs> kicked me out. I had to tell that That's landlord. That's a lie. I, I, then, I don't live like that, and you know that. Okay. I do not live like that. So I when, clean every day. So when we signed the lease, why did you have to leave and not me? Because. Why? I, I talked why to was the landlord, landlord on my okay. side? Okay. What, 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 why do you think this is going on? Why, I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. This, this has nothing been, to do with this Ashley. Only been Ashley's for been two more months, than you have ever been. In two months? In two months? In two years. months? In two months? Does she, she, she has been herself? more of a mother Does in three months than herself? you have ever been in three years. Oh, yeah, in two months. <laughs> she's been more of a mother? Yes, yeah, she's been in more of a months. mother. Two she, months. And she doesn't have kids? No. She, no, she does not have kids that live And with how old is she? She's 20, my age. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm not taking her side here, but listen to this story. She's a bad mom. She's this, she's that. But by the time you were 19 years old, you had three kids with her. Thank you. 
when, if she's such a horrible person, do you stop getting her pregnant? Okay. Hold on. Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. When we had our child, I was not cheating on you at the time. After I had all you wanted to do was sit there. You had a porn addiction. You had a porn addiction. You rather masturbate to porn than have sex with me. He's smiling. Do you see? Do you see the smile? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're teenagers. I'm here about the kids, Coleman. Didn't have lice and rashes. Yes, he had head lice, and I asked you to shave his hair. Me and Coleman. You never asked me. I did. Head lice. You are how old now? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yes, and you're sir. 20. Yes. You've had three children together, right? Yes, sir. And not the happiest of times, right? No. Okay. So what do, what do you two do after you break up? What do you do? You're in a relationship, and you're in a relationship. Really? At this point, don't you say, oh, my God, I, um, I, I got out of this relationship, and it is crazy. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to make something of myself. I'm going to be a great mother. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go back, get my GED, and do some things so I can provide a great life for my kids. What the hell are the two of you dating already? You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mama to my kids. My daughter That's comes to me with bruises, oh, with scratches, bruises. dog bites all over. Since we've split up, he's trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. And you took this lie detector test. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mama to Guess my what? kids. No. Guess what? <laughs> You're engaged. I'm engaged. Two months. Three months. Okay. Let's bring out your fiance. You're crazy if you think you're gonna be a mama to Guess my what? kids. No, Guess no, what? No, what? No, no, I'm what? a better mother. Listen, we're not fighting. Okay. We're not fighting, okay? You like this story started out bad, right? Yes. With children, not even teenagers having kids. And then what do you Oh, we're going to fight on stage? Really? Like we're not you, here for that. We're here for these children. Like, you haven't okay. been here for these you kids. You had okay. so much picked up the phone and called me. Why would I it want to? Hard. You haven't called your son you in two months. Oh, really? Yeah. How many officers? Yeah, two months. Who did a welfare check on you all a month ago? You don't call. You don't text. You don't do anything to your son. I want you to leave the stage, for a, to leave the stage for a second. Ooh, Open nothing. Stage. Leave nothing. the stage for a second. Let me ask you something. You're, how old are you? I'm you're, 20. You're 20 also. Yes, sir. Why would you even want to be in this situation? In all honesty? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. He's a good man. How long have you been dating him? How long have I been dating yeah. him? Uh, about three months. Okay. Three months. You, you're engaged already. Yes. What? I mean, come on, man. I love him. Come he on! is a good man. I do. Two months. Three. Uh, that, yes. Okay, three months. It doesn't take a million okay, years to know somebody. No, it doesn't take a million because you'll be dead by then. Um... You said I'm his mother to her. Yes. I've been there. I've changed his diapers. For I've given two him months. the bath. Yes, two months. Longer than she ever had. That his doesn't make you life. a mother. You're right. She's mom. No matter what you want to say, no matter, you know, th this kid doesn't even know who you are after two months. <laughs> what? Well, but see. That's how you handle things when you're 20 years old. Um, I want to bring Coleman back out, and I want to bring, uh, what's the girl's name? Mandy. Let's bring out Coleman and Mandy. Oh, how you doing? Now, I hope you know, I wasn't, hold on, hold on. I'm I here to find hold out on, hold on. if these are my I'm kids. Just, uh, right. Simply I'm just, as that. I want to tell you, 
I'm not being mean to your girlfriend. She doesn't need this, and you don't need it. You don't need to be engaged. You don't need to be thinking about getting married. You need to be thinking about you and your kids. And that's what I have done. Okay. Okay. You got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You just had a baby? Yes. The father of your child's name is? Nathan. So now you have given birth to four children. Yes, sir. How old is your youngest? Two months old. Two months old. Yes, sir. There is there like a movie theater in your town? No. Uh, 7 Eleven? <laughs> Nothing. I, okay. Uh, Nathan, let's bring on Nathan. Okay, no fighting. No fighting. Dude, okay. you're a. Look, no, listen, no. you're not going to fight. Look at me. No. Look at me. This story is bad enough. That's fine, man. Okay? You're right. You're right. You left that house in, that sh in the shambles. You're so you're you left my house. Let him Wait, this is I'm that, taking that, over three house. houses. You three houses. I'm taking three over houses. two kids. You because can't. the bitch I'm taking over a me. woman we you can't, can't take care of. That's I'm the way you have to live with my family. I'm a man, bro. I'm a man, bro. Don't swear. I took care of You ain't got to be addressed. I'm taking care of my kids. Where's your two-year-old okay, at? The only Let reason me... you got that three-year-old is because you seven took him weeks, and we had an R2 Seven weeks! And I told you specifically not to take my three-year-old away from I just begged you to take when I moved to freaking San Antonio to get back don't in fight. nothing, don't to fight. get stable. We're not fighting. I've had to pick up the pieces when you wouldn't be there, be there for your kids. When your dad, when your son cries, and he cries for daddy, who do you think he comes to? Not you, because you left. Because, because I had to beg I her. I changed his diapers. Because okay. I had to beg her I to take his diapers him so I can I get settled. I support him. I support my child. Three years. Okay. I've been here okay. three years. She can't be a She's been doing Listen. nothing but Listen. screw Listen. around. Hold on. So you got to get settled Hold in on. to be a father. Come on, oh. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, let's call hey. yourself. Oh, my God. But she had to be cheating on him to be with you. Yes, sir. No. I didn't. I, I told the truth. Elsewhere, bro. I've been with that's, him two years. Yeah, and eight care about. I love my boys and I take care of them. Oh, yeah. And that's what matters. Really? You moved into every one of my houses. You cheated on me. Because you I go out for the weekend on my birthday and come back and you're living in my damn house. You moved. You I were down you there move. with another woman. I was woman. There for my birthday. You went with. You moved with Are another woman. I'm going to go back. I'm going to talk to Ashley. I'm going to bring her out. And then we're going to get to the re results, okay? Everybody be. Tom. Ashley. What? You want to make me feel like a more no. than you already have? No. And you I'm, cannot tell me who I cannot, can, can right. and cannot I can't, love. I can't. I can't tell you. Old. But now we're going to get to the results. Come on back out. Uh, Coleman. You're here because there are questions about the paternity. You have admitted that you did cheat on him at yes, times. Yes, sir. Um, so we want to find out if the two children are Coleman's. This is the two-year-old. How can you accuse me of this, Brad? You know I don't hit her. You know that. My daughter That's comes twice. to me with bruises, oh, scratches, bug bites all over. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? It's Does your daughter get hurt because you're in a collectible moment? No. And you took this lie detector test. So we want to find out if the two children are Coleman's. This is the two-year-old. You are the father of the two-year-old. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry. Uh, that was the DNA results for the three-year-old. So the Woo! oldest boy is definitely yours. This is the DNA test for the two-year-old, and you are also the father. Woo! Of the child. So that should be a big issue that's cleared up. Yes. yes um, Mandy, you took a, a lie detector test. Yes, sir. And we asked you. Have you ever not bathed any of your children for a week or longer? You answered no. Have you deliberately left your children in soiled diapers for hours at a time? You answered no. Have you ever left rotten food around your house within reach of your small children? You answered no. Those three questions 
The results came back all the same. They came back that you told the truth. We asked Mandy, were the reoccurring rashes on your children a result of neglect? You answered no. Were the reoccurring head lice on your children a result of neglect? You answered no. Have any of the children received injuries as a result of your neglect? You answered no. And the results for those three questions is you did not tell the truth. Woo! That's right. Okay. Great mother, That's, huh? Let's not certainly applaud that. Okay. Yeah. It's not good because those babies deserve Well, that. and it's a very immature reaction. The truth comes out. Um, again, I mean, this. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to yell at you. No. This is a. This is. A, this is a. It's not even a sad story. It's a terrifying story. Terrifying story. I got to imagine raising kids is, in your situation, an unbelievably tough situation. Right. Yes, it is. Kids still get lice. Kids, my kids go to school. They see kids in their own school getting lice. So, well, you know, I had them very it, bad. It's embarrassing, but it happens, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're not living up to what you should be doing as a mother in a lot of the cases, right? I agree. You agree? Yes. Okay. I want to do Made more. Made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. At certain times, neglectful. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a big thing to admit. Knowing you had one child taken away. That's got to sting on some certain level. It's got to hurt. Yeah, it does. Okay. What you really want to do now is focus on, on making sure that no other kids are taken away. Thank you for being on the show, and thank you for being on the show. But you guys can leave. No, not you. And not Coleman. I want to talk to parents. Um, Coleman, Coleman, I'm going to keep talking to you. The point is, this show is about the two of you and your children. We have admitted that kids got headlights being neglected. The two of you have to work together so the kids are never neglected. So the kids never, if they have had lice, it gets taken care of right away. The, the kids don't get rashes on them. If we can offer you something after the show with parenting, some counseling, something to help you focus the right way on your kids, we're going to do that. And whether you take it, again, that's up to you. I want to get along with you, Coleman, and I want to be a mom to both of them kids because I gave birth to them. I want to do counseling with you. I want us to get along, okay? I am, I am going to file for full custody, just so you know. The show's over, and I wish you all the luck. I hope, I really hope that you make right by your kids, and someday you might. I don't think it's going to happen right now. Tonight, when I go home and I kiss my kids in bed, I will be thinking about yours. Good luck, you. Good luck, you. My daughter comes to me with bruises, oh, scratches, bruises. dog bites all over. Since we have split up, he is trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. And you took this lie to the test. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. Joanne emailed my show because she wants a lie detector test to clear her name. You see, her ex-boyfriend, Bradley, has accused her of hitting their two-year-old daughter in the mouth, causing her to have a busted lip. Joanne denies the abuse and says these accusations have been going on for over a year because Bradley is trying to gain custody of their child. I'm here to prove that I have never and I would never lay a hand on my daughter to hurt her. Me and Brad got together when I was 15. He's, I, mean, I got pregnant at 16. I do everything I can for her, and I would never hurt her. In June, her and another child were playing in my house, and she, they were next to the door. I was outside smoking. The, doors, oh, the big doors opened so I could see them, and the other child had pushed her out the front door. She had smacked her face on our porch. We had got a wooden porch. Her... Lip was bleeding, I cleaned it up and everything, made sure it was okay, and I called him and I told him about it. And he said that every, he acted like everything was fine, and then... So you actually called your ex and said, hey, our daughter uh, had a play date, the other kid pushed her, yes. she smacked her mouth, Yes, and I she told got... him what happened, because we were leaving in a, a couple days after that to go vi visit family out of state. When we got back in the beginning of July, CPS showed up at my door and said that... 
someone had called them and said that her lip got busted open and that it was suspicious and they thought that it was due to child abuse. I told them what had happened and they talked to other family members and the only person that had seen her outside of my household was him and I told him exactly what happened before we even left and I think I honestly believe that he called them to try to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. He said that he could take her out of state and just take off with her and that nobody would do anything about it because he's on her birth certificate. And it, it's either that or the fact that he's still mad that I'm not with him. I don't want to be with him. Why did you guys split up? Because we were together for three and a half years. We got together when I was 15. I had her when I was 17, and after I had her, I was just, we were always arguing. There was not a day went by that we didn't argue. What did he start to accuse you of after the baby was born? Every time she would get a scrape or a bruise or anything, he would call me and ask me, where is it from? How did this happen? And how old at the, at the time of the baby is this when he starts saying this? We split up when she was a year and a half. Okay, so the baby at this point is walking around. Yes. All right. Since we have split up, he has accused me of that. He has accused me of leaving her unattended for long periods of time. You ever leave her attended? No, I do not. What happened last week? Her and another child were in the living room. There was other family members in the house. I had gone downstairs to look for some paperwork, and I just I heard a boom. When I ran upstairs, one of the our old TV that had been sat on the floor had gotten pushed over, and it landed on her toe. And she was screaming. She was hurt. We thought it was broke. We rushed her to the hospital to go get x-rays. And I didn't, I, of course, I didn't call him. I was worried about her foot being broken. And it, she and got the x-rays done. you did the, the right thing. Done. You took her to the hospital. Yeah. And she got x-rays done. Her foot wasn't broke. Everything was fine. And when we got home, we went to sleep. And he was mad about, about me not calling him. And if, Does your daughter get hurt because you're a neglectful mother? No. She, she's two. I can't put her in a bubble and just... Uh, listen, you don't have to sell me because I have a son that cracked his head on a Tonka truck and needed stitches. It happens. Um, but sometimes kids are neglected. Somebody's not watching them and things can I happen. Don't, to I don't leave really. her. I don't leave her unattended like that. He does, says, does your ex admit that he called CPS? No, he will not. He keeps saying that he hasn't. But what he do you want to happen today? I, I want to prove that I that I have never neglected my daughter. I've never hurt my daughter. I would never. And I just, I want all this to stop, the accusations and everything. He just needs to know that I, we're not together. We're not going to be together. And, and we think, need to get along for you, her. Do you think your ex is mad at you because you're not with him? I think that's part of it, yes. Well, let's meet him. Let's bring out Bradley. How can you accuse me of this, Brad? You know I don't hit her. You don't ever call me, tell me that she did. No, I do. Bull. You and did when not I don't, call me it's because me. you accused me of it. Julie, she busted her lip. You never called me. I saw her and saw Bull, that busted I did lip. Call and I you. asked, Bull, you weren't I home did. When I picked her up from no, I you was didn't, home because that was right before we child. left state. How can you sit here and accuse me of child abuse? You see her twice a week. Joanne, you my daughter comes to me with bruises, with scratches, bruises. bug bites all over when you know damn good and well that she gets bug bites and they swell up like crazy. And I take and care you of them. take her outside I all take care really? of them. Really? Who's the one, that goes, and buys the, who's the one that goes and buys the cream? Bradley, um, some of the stuff that you're describing, the bug bites and the bruising and stuff, I can't. I uh, just again, stuff. I'll say if it was if you saw my son at certain points, you'd think I was the biggest child abuser in the world. Okay? Yeah, I understand children get hurt. It happens. It does happen. But at the same do you time, believe though, that, do you believe she is neglectful? At points in time, yes. Do you believe <laughs> at, point, on, at points in time, okay. so she is the best mother in the world. But at the same time, well, you're time, not the best mother in the world if sometimes <laughs> you're neglectful. Well, yeah, but okay. I mean, at the same time, though, she's 19 years old. You know how many times I get phone calls? Hey, will you come get our daughter when it's not my day to have her? Well, you probably just, shouldn't have just, a child with a 17-year-old so woman she can go then, out right? And go party. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied.
Are you unhappy that you guys broke up? Of course I am, but that's not the big issue. Uh, well, I mean, that could I, be part of the issue. It, it, it I'm is sure it is part of the issue. But it's very cool. That's I mean, very healthy. I, to me. I, I do love her still. Would 100%. you take her back? Of course I would. If she grew out of this little childish stage of what she's well, doing. Well, you know, at the childish stage, uh, she's still she, basically well, exactly, a child. Exactly. She's and that, 19 years old. That's why when it came down when to was 15. Well, that's why when it came down to us splitting up, it was. What else am I going to do? You want to go out and have fun? You, you want to go party? You want to go enjoy? What did you think was going to happen when you started sleeping with her? I knew what was going to happen. I, well, then we, you can't yell we, at her we, for what you knew what was going to happen. See, we were in love, though, Steve. We agreed to have our daughter. Our daughter was completely planned. It wasn't like... And you thought that was a good idea? Well, uh, at the time, yeah. But I'm assuming... You really thought that was a good idea? At the time, yeah. I, How old were you at the time? I would have been. He was 21 20. when our boy. I was 21 was when my our daughter was born, and I was 20. You were when 20 when. Okay. So you were 20 and she was 17. Yes. Sir. Or 16. I was 16 when you I got pregnant. pregnant. So you thought I was a 20 year old? That's a good idea. Good plan. Get a 16 year old pregnant. Oh, well, I was with her for what? Two years before we ever got pregnant. The point I'm is, a... you impregnated a 16 year old. I, I understand that, Steve, but at the same time. We were in love. Her, fa her family was consensual. She was consensual. But Everything most high school was... romances break off. And it's uh, not exactly. And that, that's not where the problem in lies, though. I, Did you I, call CPS on her? I called after the fact of them already investigating. What she failed to mention is that uh, DCFS was actually investigating her to the living conditions of the house that she kicked me out of. Are you really and mad at her because she's seen other guys? No. I, I'm mad about the living conditions of my You don't get mad life. about that? No. I, of he course, does. to an extent, He Steve. does. Every um, time, if, if I'm not seeing anybody, he will be the nicest person in the world to me. As soon as I get a boyfriend or I start seeing someone, he's a total d My attitude hasn't changed one bit. It's Is she a good mom? At points. Why are you here? Because she wanted me to come here. And I want to fight for my daughter's safety. And, and all I, honesty, you, Is I mean, that what you're doing? You're fighting for your daughter's safety? No. I, honestly, yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I, yeah. I, I love my daughter. My daughter is my life. When my daughter I was born, you. He's I trying, believe you. When my daughter he's was trying born, to take her from me. My what he's trying was, to do. Honestly, if the lie detector test comes back <laughs> to where she's telling the truth that she didn't, uh, and she never has, more power to her. I, uh, more power to her. <laughs> more, well, more power to her to being a good mother. I mean, how but, about saying, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stop my apology? immature juvenile uh, stalking of her. Uh, and let her, because even though our relationship ended, she deserves to be with other guys or whoever she wants to be with. And you have every right to go on and meet another uh, sir, that, young that's girl, actually how maybe it's been. older than 15, though. Sir, that's actually how it's been, right. not going to lie. Right. Um, when we split up, when we split up at first, at first, yes, I did. I, I wanted her back. That was my thing. I wanted Joanne back. That's I wanted us to be And you were a little is. crazy it, about it, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. I mean, that's what man that, you know, time. was planning on getting married and... August of this year. But see, here's but, the problem you I have with that argument. You seem a little too possessive of her. And he is. Right. He's always been um, like that. You're a lot of type of All right, Joanne, you came here and we took this lot of type of test. And we asked you, have you ever hit your daughter with excessive force? She said no. In June, did you hit your daughter causing her busted lip? You said no. Last week, did you cause the injury to your daughter's foot? You said no. Have you ever left your daughter alone with strange men for long periods of time? She said no. Has your daughter ever become seriously injured as a result of your neglect? You said no. And the results for Joanne's lie detector test, all the results came back the same, and they came back that she told the truth. I told you. too possessive and you're too jealous of this young girl that's the problem here I can't you have, have to at life. some point accept the failure of the relationship and for the sake <coughs> of your daughter need to move on Thank you. At first, Thank you. At 
first game, that was a problem. I couldn't move on. Now, now I could give who she's I was with told that you never that mentioned that you called. I was told before that you, at no point before today, ever mentioned that you called CPS until today. To her, no, because I didn't want her to keep my daughter away from me like she had prior. I had called the. I had called. We. DCFS. You came here and you took the lie detector test. I had test, called DCF and we asked you, "Have you ever called CPS on your daughter's mother?" And you said. Have you ever called CPS on your daughter's mother? And you said, yes, you confessed. <laughs> With false are allegations? You, no. Are you serious? Did, what happened? Well, that was the second question we asked you, right? Have you ever I called on you, CPS you did on Joanne with false allegations in an attempt to gain custody of your daughter? And what did you answer? No. And you did not tell the truth. I knew it! Oh. When, oh she called, when she had oh. my house, DCFS was involved because of the living conditions in my house. Bradley, I found Bradley, out that she got that bus and I called and said, Bradley, why is this? Bradley, and they told me, and I Bradley, said, well, you I might want to look at that lip. Bradley, I knew it. Okay. The question that you failed was, have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations in an attempt to gain custody of your daughter? You answered no. And you failed. I don't know how because I was on the phone. You know, let, let, let me explain this. Hold on. Let me explain this. Very scientifically, you know how you failed? Because you lied. <laughs> Did you ever get custody of our daughter? No. You're not. Okay. You, hold on. Yes. You did a great job on the show. You got the answers that you needed, you. and you proved to everybody who's going to watch and say, hey, I went on a show. I proved I didn't abuse my <laughs> child. Good luck. Take care of your daughter, and I hope it works out. Thank you. Let's <laughs> okay? uh, Steve, I'm happy to hear that she had never done... Uh, You're shaking. Or, I'm... You have facial tremors right now. I'm scared that she's going to go home and tell me I can't see my daughter. She's not doing that. <laughs> she's, but she's not doing that. I mean, it, and she might, she might do it and, and, over and over and, and over. She, and mean, you know what? And she's a 19-year-old girl. Until anything's set in stone, and she's, I can't. Right, until I mean, something's set in stone. Um, you went into a relationship where you stole a, a girl's childhood. That's what you did. And it, see, we were both on the same page, though. You're I older. Mean, she was still 16 years old. Now, I, th th listen, if you're going to be happy and if she's going to be happy and if your daughter's going to be happy, you need to act like a man that your daughter's going to look up to. <laughs> and I've been crying, Steve. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. But your daughter's not going to look up to you. She's never going to be happy if you don't let her mother go. And listen, Bradley, I'm telling you right now, that's the key to your happiness. You have to let her go. And I don't know how. I really don't. You go out and you do other things. You play sports, you go work out, you meet other girls. That's how you do it. You leave her alone and you go out and you live your life like you did before you met her. Good luck to you. with all my heart, uh, but I have never slept with my daughter. I know it, Rob. You're wrong. You're I can wrong. feel it in my gut. I ain't stupid. You're like crazy, that. Mom. I have not been with him, and I'm sorry, Mom, but your husband's an idiot. You said he wanted to. I was drunk. You pissed oh. me off. I didn't know how oh. to hurt you. I said it once. Let's find out the results. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. No, no, no. constantly accusing me of cheating all the time. I go to work, I'm cheating. I'm in the house, I'm cheating. She found this tape with you having sex with a bunch of different women. I kind of had it for memories and then... <laughs> you are a liar. That. That's all you do is lie. 
He's left my house with Viagra and Cialis. Came home, no Viagra, no Cialis. If I'm lying and lying and lying, I'm always lying to you. So if I'm always lying to you, why are you even with me? I think she's leaving. Shane believes that her husband, Rob, has been sleeping with her daughter, Holly. Oh. But he says he loves his wife and would never sleep with his stepdaughter. Holly thinks her mom is jealous of her, and that's why she's making this up. But Shane says Rob kicked her out of the house and was living with Holly. Take a look. I think that my husband has been sleeping with my daughter. My daughter and husband and I decided to live together as a family. Right away, they had a rapport with each other. They would make plans together, not involving me. And my husband stopped touching me in the bedroom. And he gave my daughter special attention that he used to give me. I have never slept with my mom's husband, nor would I want to sleep with her husband. If I wanted to sleep with her husband, I would have slept with him the first night that he hit on me at the bar when I first met him. One time, my husband was in the basement, and I heard that he was on the phone. Same time, I looked over in the kitchen, and my daughter was on the phone. She was kind of like hiding something. But I was trying to listen to what my husband was talking to and who he was talking to. And I heard him say, Holly, I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. It turned out to be his old high school buddy's mom. Her name's Ollie. My name's Holly. And he tried to tell her that. She even called and bitched this woman out, only to find out she was wrong in the end. And there was another incident where I tried leaving to go back to my hometown for a few days, and I asked my mom to take me, and she threw a big tantrum. Within 10 minutes, he is now taking my daughter, Holly, and they left. Gone three days. Within an hour, she starts calling both of our phones, screaming and yelling at us, telling us that we're these horrible people and we left without her. Then we got stuck in a snowstorm, and it took twice the amount of time to get there, and she freaked out, saying that we must have been at a hotel sleeping together. One night, my husband and I get a phone call all of a sudden. It's my daughter, Holly. She says, Mom, will you come and pick me up? I got in a fight with my As we're getting there, my husband, out of the blue, grabs my hand and says, Shane, I want you not to listen to your daughter, Holly. No matter what she says to you tonight, believe me, I love only you. So we're in the van and we're driving home and she goes, Mom, did you know your husband wants to have sex with me? Do you know he's been flirting with me? Did you know any of this? You're so stupid. I want, after all this, for my mom to see that her way of thinking is not always right and she really does need help. I feel in my gut those two are having an affair and that's just wrong. I love my wife very much. She, she has issues, as we, don't we all. Um, she has been coming at me with accusations since we were dating. We've been dating for, well, we've known each other for almost four years. Going to be married going on three years. Uh, and instead of getting better, it's getting worse. Again, she's, she has trust issues, and that goes way back. They're a lot more deeply rooted than since I came in the picture. Uh, again, I do love my wife with all my heart, uh, but I have never slept with my daughter. You never slept with your stepdaughter. Stepdaughter, correct. Um, how, what's your relationship like with the stepdaughter? Um, I feel like I have to walk on eggshells, and I would like to have a, a father-daughter relationship eventually. But you know, I'm I'm from a broken home. I have a stepmother and a stepdad, and I know the respect doesn't come overnight. It, it has to be earned. It's not just given. Well, I mean, what what your wife says? You know, you were spending a lot in the tape. She says you were spending a lot of attention to her. Uh, being very loving, but then you kind of shifted that from her to the daughter. Is that true? Mm, well, just normal loving attention that a father would give a daughter. Um, is what Shane construes as sexual attention is way off base. So you don't flirt with her? Not at all. You're no, not uh, that would be inappropriate? Very in inappropriate, exactly. Your wife says that you kicked her out of the house, but you let Holly stay in the house. Not true, not true. Uh, staying with a family member uh, who moved from Minnesota to take care of family and give Holly a fresh start. And those two came over first, and when I was laid off from work, I came over, and that's when the problem started. I uh, had to bring, well, I didn't have to. Holly had a court appearance she had to get to, very important. Uh, otherwise, there had been a warrant for arrest. Nobody was willing to give her a ride, and she had family in the area too, Holly. And I agreed to bring her, and then, like on the tape, we got hit in a snowstorm. She stayed at a friend's, I stayed at a hotel room, but Shane didn't believe that either. It all out of but so you didn't kick her out of the house? No. Why is she saying you kick her out of the house? Good question. Did Good you question. ever? She stay? has a choice. I want my wife to come back home and stay with me. Did you ever stay in the house with Holly alone? No. 
Never? No. Not even one night? Not even one night. We have our own separate rooms. I have my bedroom with my wife, who is no longer there. I know, but I understand that. But did you ever spend the night in the house with just you and the daughter? No. She never stayed in the house? She stayed in the house with, again, another family member. And but did she stay in the house with you? Yes, and another family member. We were never in the house alone. See, but you just told me that she wasn't in the house. You said that uh, she never spent the night. But now you're saying, yeah, there was another family member and Holly. So, but without your wife, you were in the house with Holly. Correct. Correct. But you didn't. You just didn't tell me that. Well, like I said, I didn't. It's. It You're being evasive. Not necessarily. <laughs> Did you hit on Holly the first night you met her? No. Why is she saying that? Again, she was drunk. I went into my local watering hole. And you weren't drunk. No. You were sober. Yeah. So in no way you hit on her at that bar, had a few drinks, and said, hmm, she looks pretty good? No. Because, I mean, I'm looking at the tape. She does look pretty good, right? Right. She's a grown adult. She can... She can make her own choices. Correct. Correct. And they need to start being better choices, as do my wife's. <laughs> now, your wife says you and Holly were living together like three months without her. Absolutely. Not. How long was it? Uh, a month. And again, like I said, living in uh, a family member's house. Right. Um... You're here. Do you want to make things work with your wife? Absolutely. And you took a lie detector test whether you slept with Holly? Correct. And you feel pretty good about those results, right? Absolutely. All right, here's your wife, Shane. I know it, Rob. You're wrong. You're I can wrong. feel it in my gut. I ain't stupid. And why did you, the day you were supposed to move home, you walked up to me. You weren't even home. You were Ten supposed minutes. to be, You wouldn't even bring her. You, why wouldn't you offer to drive her to court? Ten minutes. You walked in. You go, here's $250. I want you out when you I get home. You said you want money. Holly got home. Ten minutes before you did. I go, what's going on? And I walk out and I go, Holly, what are you doing? She goes, I'm packing. Rob is right. He's taking me to Minnesota. You're crazy. I go, what is going on? Well, you, you left. Ten minutes later, you were gone three dang days. It was not three days. It yes, was it was. One night. It was one night. You get home, overnight. I go, where were you? I went to a hotel. I go, what hotel? This one. I called that one, Rob. I called everyone in town. You never there. Well, you were never there. I have a receipt? Yes. Yeah, a receipt. You never showed it to me. You're crazy, Mom. I have not been with him. And I'm sorry, Mom, but your husband's an idiot. You said he wanted to. I was drunk. Let's find out the results. Oh! Wait a second. No, no, no. Crazy, Mom. I have not been with him, and I'm sorry, Mom, but your husband's an idiot. You said he wanted to. I was drunk. I love you, and I want and this you to work, have been, but it's got to change. You have been in that house with Holly for over three months. I have been out of that house, and you, know, and you we haven't been well alone. That too. We haven't been alone. Whoa, you liar. Whoa, you lying. Oh, I'm You're not. so wrong. Oh, I am not. How many times did I try to make it better oh, with you coming over I my house? And then you know what? While he, we were in the house alone, you wouldn't want me to come over here. You we went the on a one-month vacation. You turned your we cell phone off. We went on a one-month vacation in March. You turned all the curtains and shut them? Yes, you did. And I drove by that house. You wouldn't let me in? Oh, yeah, that's true. Do you true. hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I do. I know I'm right, Robert. You're, well, you're wrong. Shane, you know that's not true. Did something right. help with the phone call? Oh, yes. When, I, when you were making me mad and I was ready, I was ready to go back home, to go visit an old college friend. What? And I was talking to his mother named... Oh, yes. What? Yes. And how would I... Oh, you said... Well, how did it go? Why is it that you were in the basement in the way back corner behind the old furnace instead of upstairs? Laundry and laundry? building a fire. You were a drunker than a skunk, and you weren't doing laundry. There was no laundry to be done. And, and Holly was on the phone up in the kitchen whispering... Da -da -da -da. And then I was trying to eavesdrop. You know me. I'm like, what are you yes, doing I down do there? Know you. And you said, Holly, I can't wait to see you again. I miss you. <laughs> oh, that's what you said. Yes. So then I turned I did. around. Did you call I'm them? So did mad. you call my friends? Is this a case? No, I did not. Shane, I did not. Shane, oh, are you lying about that too? No. Uh, is this a case? You are, because you're the one who just <laughs> accused me. <laughs> Shane, is this, could could you be being paranoid about this? I honestly, golly, for the first two months, thought I was. But that, you know, like a lot of times when people say, I have a gut feeling, yeah. the gut's usually right. I kept telling myself, I don't want to wind up on Jerry Springer. I'm not crazy. I better not think that way. My daughter wouldn't do that to me. She loves me. You know, I got so much I'm going on my plate. I should just let it be and stop thinking that way. And you know what happened after two months? You know what happened. Holly told then? me that you wanted to do it. 
And the night she told the night she told me that you wanted to do it with her right to your face and mine, you warned me a half hour earlier. No, 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 Whatever no, no, you no, no, do, no. don't we listen to your daughter. Up, we went to go pick Remember? her up and what she, she not only accused, well, you know, you she have, not only accused me of wanting to sleep you with her. You pre-warned me she was going to say bad stuff about you. She was saying you were back with your your first you your, your exes. Rob. Oh, your so she maybe said Holly, you were maybe Holly was trying to seduce you. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, really? Not when yeah. the producer called you Let's and this all started, who were you with? Holly. You were with Holly. Be respectful. You know what, Mom? What this is you know what? Give, no. Give, give, You're going to listen to me now. I I'm did not come on this show to have you put me down. You brought me here to How put me I out there for sleeping with your husband. You That's said how. he wanted I to. I never slept here. I was drunk. You pissed oh. me off. I didn't know how to oh. hurt you. I said it once. And you know what? He hit on me the first time we met, but then I hooked him up with you, and for four years he's been with you, not with me. Like Admitting what? He he we didn't sleep I, together. He but. says he wasn't drunk. That, he says that <laughs> you were drunk that first night. And that he never hit on you. Yes, he did hit on it me the first night. But other than what that, what did he do to you? What did he say that night? Oh, he walked in the bar and started hit on me. The main, the main things like, oh, you want a beer? Oh, what are you doing tonight? Oh, you want to hang out tonight? Oh, let's go do this. Let's go do that. And I told him, no, you're too old for me. And my mom will be here in a couple yes. weeks. She looks just like me, and you can go with her. But other than that, I have not been with him. And I'm sorry, mom, but your husband's an idiot. And I don't think you should be married with him. And I wouldn't be with him. That's how you feel. That is how I feel. I feel. If that's how you feel, when this all first started, why didn't you do what I asked? What's Three that? miles away was your grandma. I tried. Father, I tried to take care of him. Don't lied. put my grandfather in this because that's nothing to do with him. You, you wouldn't let me see him and you get just jump that someone. Shut up, let no, me say I'm something. not. I'd like to tell you something now. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to me, Ma? I says, let me move back in with my husband, work on my marriage. You go help your grandmother out. You know, that was your favorite guy. I he was, was you taking were his care favorite of him. granddaughter. I did try to take care you of him. You favorite. wouldn't let me see him. I tried you know how many times you wouldn't let me see that man. I don't want to move in with that. I want to stay with Rob. I had to sneak around your guys' yeah, back to go and did. see my family. Yeah, you did. No, didn't I didn't. That. Yes, she did. You know what? Why? I don't lie, and you two both know yes, it. Yes, you, you do. You're crazy, Mom. Might you be know, crazy, but I don't you lie. Know, maybe if you knew me, maybe if you were a part of my life for maybe minutes and worrying about piece of ass every five minutes. Life. Yes, you've never been a part of my life because you don't care. I you're too busy on the drugs and with your you men. More than and you don't know you do to. not. Then why didn't you learn to know that your daughter wouldn't do that you to know you? And I, I wouldn't do that to anybody because I'm the way person. I was. No, no. You know what? If you, you were a mom, guilty. get some help I, like I've been I, asking. I'll tell, I'll tell I you. You don't, you don't have guilty. guilty. You don't feel guilty. You don't feel guilty. You don't feel guilty. You always think that you're the victim. You're not the victim in every role. You need to worry about your kids' feelings and actually be there. Why would you do that? That's a lot of stories. Why did you? Hold on. Once your mom left, why did you stay in the house with him? Because my mother actually moved me to the home there because I was having a difficult time yeah, in my home. You asked to move in with me. But didn't you feel awkward? Why I stayed, to be honest with you, because he was shooting every night and doing yeah, drugs. And he, yeah, drugs. and he had a yeah, family yeah, member to take care of who can barely take care of himself. And I had to take on the responsibility. I did. I'm always the one to pick up after my mom's pieces or after her husband's. Let's find out the results. Oh! Wait, wait a second. Three men and a house and a car, and they're all gonna pay for it. You are crazy, so will you get some help? Let's find out the results. Oh! Wait, wait a second. No, 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 no. You hope he didn't sleep with her, right? Yeah, I hope I am wrong. I hope I am crazy, because then I'll get you some help. You are crazy, so will you get some help? You swear to me, you're actually going to go see a therapist after this? If this turns out you that we're right, will. which we are? You all will. No, I'm already getting therapy. I've been doing therapy since I was nine because of this you're woman. Lying. You Let's find no out therapy. the results. No, you've been doing drugs. No, we I've been therapy Robert. every Robert week. came here today, and we asked him, have you ever propositioned Holly for sex? He said no. Have you ever had sexual physical contact with Holly? He said no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Holly. He said no, and the results came back all the same, and it came back that Robert did not tell the truth.
me. Hold on. Now you're going to tell the truth. No, hell no, mom. You are not. I don't want your husband. I want my husband. You are not my mom. I want to be your mom. Get away from me. I don't want to be your mom. Let's find out yours. Let's find out yours. Please read mine. If yours, if you would fail too. I would say your debt is a thorn. No, I don't understand, life. but read mine off. You I know understand. I never suck up that man. Oh, look at him. Look at him running. I like, don't care. He can run all he wants. He's like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I got exposed. I never slept with my mom. I didn't I'm get exposed. In my life. I love you. We got to do this. We got to change how I'm No, gotta... you. Don't say we and do not up, say girl. Me grow up, grow up, and be a mom. Do you want to hear hers? Yes, please. Holly came here and we asked her Besides the first time you met him at the bar, has Rob ever propositioned you for sex? She said no. Have you ever propositioned Rob for sex? She said no. Have you ever had sexual physical contact with Rob? She said no. Have you ever had sexual physical intercourse with Rob? She said no. Her results came back the same, and they came back that she did not tell the truth. <laughs> Working on this. No. I know. First of all, I never slept with him. Why and second of all, you me? need help. Why do I need help? Why do you hate because me? Because so you're bad? crazy. I pay for everything. No, for you, you don't. She's going to find out. Yeah. No, this, no, you she's don't. She's crazy. You failed this lie detector. I have a question. Then give me another lie detector. How many times did we give it to you? How many times did we give it to you? How many times did we give it to you? How many times? Twice. Twice. And you failed both of them. Wally, let's work on this. We're going to do this together. I'm not, no, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing with you. Let's bring out Dan. Um, all right. Hold on. Listen. Pay attention. Hey, Shane, pay attention here. Uh, first of all, Dan, what I want to say is, oh, I hope he's coming back. Um, I had a bad feeling because, one, when somebody has a real gut feeling about a story or what they believe, sometimes it's usually true. Plus, this guy here was very evasive. He didn't want to really just answer the question. Right. And when anybody does that, usually they're trying to hide something. And I agree. With these results, it seems like they were hiding a lot. Oh, a lot. Um, I think what this gentleman's upset about is that the countermeasures that he read up on the Internet really didn't work for him. Oh, wow. um, that's a joke. He, what, what you don't understand is I monitor your breathing, okay? I never... Breathing here... Was about half of what a normal human being does. No human, bre no human being uh, breathes six times per minute, Steve. Okay, <laughs> that's once every ten seconds. Try it. Try taking a breath, holding your breath for ten seconds. You almost pass out. Okay, this is what he was doing on the polygraph test. What it does is it, it essentially tries to suppress and almost like a bear, you try to hibernate and minimize your reactions. The only problem is I watch everything, so. I you're doing it. It's a countermeasure that doesn't work, that's popular on the internet, and it's nonsense. So that's the first sign of deception. Second of all, he comes last night, he's a little bit on the fearful side, he says to me, I don't feel well. I said, fine, I'll test you in the morning. I test him in the morning, uh, restless leg syndrome, boom, 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 um, rambling on, going off on tangents, essentially leaking deception. He's just leaking it as it overflows from his body. <laughs> and then, of course, Steve, he fails the polygraph. So there's no doubt in my mind that he's being deceptive and her polygraphs match his polygraph, so it's paired testing. We get the same results. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. The story from the whole telling of it makes no sense. Um, you stayed in the house with the guy after your mom wasn't there. Everybody how about, knows how about, the whole town? Not everybody the knows. Whole town no, knew. Mom, because you like to walk around and talk about I don't feel what the Paul Chris said. I never told no, him. I'm sorry. You slept with him. He failed. You failed. You know, I can tell off my face. She's constantly accusing me of cheating all the time. He's left my house with Viagra and Cialis. Came home, no Viagra, no Cialis. Holly, please. Just leave I will me give alone. up men. I'm I will done. give up I'm all done. men. I don't need to be, have a mom I'm like you in my life.
What's I'm going to hate what? men for the rest of my life. I'm going to have trust issues up the yang yang. Okay. Um, <laughs> you might, and you could. Oh, I am. I'm going to have three boyfriends, and each one's going to pay my rent, my car, and they'll do as I do and say what I want. Anybody, but not her. Okay, but you know, um, I hate the one... them. I hate every man because of them. Okay, the one thing is, the bigger issue here is. You know what counseling cost? <laughs> I'm gonna get a divorce, and he's gonna pay for every okay. week's session. Okay, that's probably a good a good start. Get Thank divorced. Thank you. I think so. Somebody who sleeps with you. You're gonna pay for oh, every session please. I have till I'm normal. You got that? That's the price you're gonna have oh, to pay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you stand up for one second? We don't second? have no children. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Uh, He's gonna pay for my accounts when <sighs> this here it's despicable what he did, okay? It is. But with your daughter, you there's a lot of history there. You weren't always there for her. I think she's mad at you for I that. I love her. I've been trying so hard for all I these understand, years. But she's lying. There's but there's a lot of years of that where yes. you weren't there for her. I, I was hooked on drugs. I wasn't there for her. I gave her to her father and didn't come back. I paid child support but didn't visit. Okay. So now, yeah, I owe this her a lot, of, and I feel this, guilty as you want to believe. This might be some way that she wanted to get back at you. I'm not justifying it. I never it. heard her. Well, you did. I neglected you, her. Well, that's the same thing. It is. It is. Okay. You're right. But I wanted to, I've been okay. wanting to do counseling with her for two years now. Okay. I've been begging her. Well, uh, one thing is, I think you need to get out of this marriage, and I think that you should try to patch things up with your daughter because... She is your daughter. I'm trying. And even though she did this, I think it's because she lashed out about all these years of what you did to her. Hey, I'm sorry. You need to, I'm so sorry. You need to tell her that, okay? Do you want to go backstage <laughs> and talk to your daughter? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Holly. Where is she, Robert? Where's Holly? What are you asking me for? You don't believe a word I say anyway. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You're paying the bills, boy. Don't I always? You're going to keep it up, too. Where's Holly? Holly, please give me five minutes of your dang time. Uh, you can at least give me that much. Five minutes. Can I please have five minutes? All right, first of all, I don't want him anyways. He's done. He's an right? idiot, Mom. He's a Second drunk and he's all, abusive to you. Why should you Second want Second of all, rather you did or not, I don't care. I don't want to ever talk about it again. I forgive you. I love you. Third of all, can we get some counseling? You get some counseling and then come talk to me, Mom. I'm in can counseling. Can we do it as a family? I'm in counseling. Can we do it together? Can we change? Can we start bonding? Please, I want to be your mama. Please, I want to be your mom. Are you going to quit drinking? Are you going to quit putting men first? Are yes. you actually going to show up to your kids? Yes. And... Not all men. I'm done with him. If I am going to have a boyfriend. That's what I mean. No, I don't want anything to do. No, Come on. No, Mom. Holly, you need to learn to be a mom. 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 You need to learn to be a woman. Oh, I will give up no, men. No, I want nothing to do with you. Just leave me alone. I will give up men. I'm I will done. give up I'm all I men. I don't need to be, have a mom like about, you in my about, life, okay? Listen, I really don't. How about don't. if she did, like she said, she took the big step of getting counseling? Because I think if that she, yeah, a If she takes a big step and gets counseling, if, then I will allow then... me and my mom to start working <coughs> okay. things out. And Because I'm going through DBT counseling and my own therapy. And I understand that. And, and you I know what? I think there's a lot of hurt here and a lot of bad feelings. And I think a lot of things happen. But she's willing to say, hey, you know what? Forget all everything else. She admits on stage that she made a lot of mistakes with you. I am you. so sorry. No I matter what. what you do. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. I love you, and I want to have a relationship with you so bad. Good luck to you. Thank you, Steve. I love you. She's constantly accusing me of cheating all the time. He's left my house with Viagra and Cialis. Came home, no Viagra, no Cialis. Dorothy swears that her boyfriend, Giovanni, is cheating. And she says she has proof that he doesn't even know about. He says Dorothy is paranoid because their relationship started as an affair, and he's not cheating. But she can't wait to see the look on his face when she reveals her proof. Take a look. And my boyfriend's a jerk. He's been lying to me for the past three years about cheating. 
I found a memory card. I put it in my computer to see what it was. Um, there were several videos of Giovanni having sex with different women, getting oral sex from different women. He's a hoe. I didn't confront him about the video card. He doesn't know I have it. He doesn't know I ever saw it. But he was going crazy around my house looking for it. And I asked him, what you looking for? And he said, a memory card with pictures of my daughters on it. More lies. I seen his face in the video. He's left my house with Viagra and Cialis. Came home, no Viagra, no Cialis. Said he used them to watch porno movies. Now we know that's not true. You don't need Viagra to watch a porno play. He disappeared last New Year's for three days. Came home. He didn't have the Viagra with him or the Cialis with him. He said he didn't cheat on me. Where were you for three days? All he does is lie, that's it. When I confront him, he tells me, I'm crazy. I'm bugging out. I'm losing my mind. I be inventing stuff all the time. He says, I make it up because I'm cheating. I'm not cheating on him. I love him. I want to be with him. I want this to work. We have a five-month-old baby. And I hope he didn't. I really hope he didn't cheat. I want my son to have a father. I just don't want him, my son to have an ass. If he doesn't pass the test, I'm done. Because I deserve a little bit better than that. I love this woman with all my heart, man. I've been through so much, I gave up a lot to be with her. You know, we've been through a lot of stuff. She's constantly accusing me of cheating. Uh, this has nothing to do with what we're in. This relationship that we're in now has nothing to do with me cheating. So you really love her? I really love her. I love my child, I love my family, and I want to be with my family. Anything that she done said doesn't have nothing to do with me being involved with her. She found this tape with you having sex with a bunch of different women. This is old. That's an old and tape. And I told her about it. You were a porn star. No. I could have been. You could have been. I could have been if I wanted to, but I'm, so I'm you, not. So you taped yourself having sex with a bunch of different men, I mean women? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> with a bunch of different women, yes. A bunch yeah. of different women. Yes. And did they know you were taping them? Yes. And they were okay with that? Yeah. And you keep the tape and you what? You go back and watch your greatest collection? No, I kind of had it for memories. And then <laughs> since I'm in a new relationship now, I was looking for it to destroy it and to get rid of it. But she found it first. But she found it first. And I told her, when you do find it, destroy it. Don't look at it. Don't do none of that. Destroy it. And she looked at it. I guess she did. <laughs> I don't know if she did or didn't, but, but why, she's but, saying she but did. But she's pretty uh, adamant. She seems like you've been unfaithful to her since you've been with her. Since I've been with her, I haven't been unfaithful to her. She says you disappeared for days. No. You don't? I disappeared a while ago for, for three days, and that's because me and her had split up. And we went through drama, basically. And did you go sleep with somebody else? No, I didn't. You didn't call up one of your former... No, uh, I didn't. What's, what, you left with Viagra. And you told her you, you were going to watch porn? No. That's what she's saying. But oh. I never told her that I was watching no porn or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, why would you need Viagra to watch porn? That's what I said. <laughs> I said Do you watch thing. porn? Yeah. <laughs> now, you think that she cheats too, right? Yeah, because she's constantly accusing me of cheating all the time. I go outside, I'm cheating. If I'm not around her, I'm cheating. And she took a lie detector test. If she would happen to fail, what would you do? If she was to happen to fail, I guess I would have to continue on with my life. Without her? I can't say without no, her. I was going to say, you I'm got a five-month-old baby, I can't, right? I can't, I, yeah, I really can't say without her. I'm not even going to say what would happen. I guess time will tell. And if you fail, you still want to stay with her, right? Uh, I guess, yeah, I would like to work things out with her the same way. So we, so we know how way. yours is going to come out. Let's bring out, uh, <laughs> let's bring out your girlfriend, Dorothy. I told You're you about liar. the card you when you found it. You told me that there was it. a missing memory card with pictures of your family. No, I you said, said pictures of other women and things in the field that you shouldn't see. I 
it. told you you shouldn't see it. And you never see told it. me you used yes, Viagra to watch porn on a laptop? I told you that? Yeah, you told me that. Yeah? Yeah, you said you needed to masturbate. You don't remember none of that, right? No, none, none of that. that. You are a liar. None of that. That's all you do is lie. You've been doing it for the if past If I'm lying and years. lying and lying, I'm always lying to you. So if I'm always lying to you, why are you even with me? Because I thought you would change. Change? I thought you would. Change? Yeah, but I am who I am. So leave me. Hold on, hold on. Why are you, why you putting your hands on me? Um, if he passes this, you'll stop accusing him? He's not going to pass it. We've never had somebody out in the parking lot when we read the results. Since I've been back and since we've been in a relationship, I've been nothing but faithful to you. Really? So what you, you mean don't want to believe me? Alice for? What, what do I need yeah. it for? I use it with you. No, you don't. You wasn't no. with me on New Year's. Oh, no, I don't. No, no. Where were you on for that three days? Them three days, I went to my daughter's house and stood at my daughter's house. And I was with my daughter. And when you came back, the Viagra and Cialis was gone. Oh, yeah? Who was it? Yeah, you sure What'd you do with it? Yeah. Obviously, you didn't keep count. Um, do you cheat on him? No. At all? No. Yeah? Never. Never so cheat on you. So why are you always accusing me then? Because you're a dog. So if I'm a dog, why are you with me? Why are you I with me? Leave me. I did Leave that. Me. I did that. All right, so why are we even on the show then? What? For my peace of damn mind. Oh, it's just your peace yep. of mind? So then get a peace of mind. I'm going to. I am hope you're happy when you get your peace of mind. I'm not going to be happy. All you're I'm thinking about is your feelings. Because your I love feelings. you. We have a son together. Heartbroken? I'm a dog. What the hell you want to be heartbroken of a dog? Because hopefully you can change. Since I'm a dog, why the hell are you going to be heartbroken because of me? Because you're my you father. shouldn't have no feelings for a dog. Father. Oh, because you I'm your son's, son's father. father. You're going to feel in some type of way? Yes. Oh, well, well, um, yes. Well, listen, you're old enough to know that you can't change somebody by getting into a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a big mistake, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, what are the things you've done to catch him cheating on you? Oh, my God. The list goes on and on. My friend, we created a profile on Facebook maybe a year and a half ago, and he scheduled a meeting. Oh, you'd like try to set him up? No, we did. She sets me we up. We did. But he she gave gets, the, the she girl. She does all types but of things. Why, why would you do that, though? I mean, aren't you just Because he wants me trouble? to do bad. No, that's she after you She wants me to cheat. Bad. She wants me to do bad. Because when we met, that's what you did. You cheated on yours, I cheated on mine. Mm -hmm. We both did bad things. That's and right. And we continue to do bad things. No, you continue to do bad oh, things. Oh, just me? You, just you. All right, I do bad things. Yeah, I know. All right, since I do so much bad things, why are we even here? Because we have a son. Because we have a son. You know, My I son do. don't have nothing to do with me and you. Mm, he don't. Well, he doesn't just... have nothing to do with what well, we're does, talking about. But, it's, but still, though, if your son, it does matter if this is going to cause you guys to break up and then he doesn't have mom and dad, right? You're definitely right. But I'm going to always be there for my son. Well, I understand Whether that part. Whether she likes it or not. No, but I, I understand that part. But do you not want to be with Whether you like it or not, that's my son that, and I'm going to be there. Do you want to you you be with him? him? Beg me. Do you, Beg you. Do you wanna, I was begging you for you to let me see my son to even spend time with my son. Do you want to be with her? Yes, I do. You, you like, I want to be with her and only her honestly, for the rest honestly, of my life. Honestly, I want, I love her. I love this woman. I'm willing if to be you with you for the me, rest of my life. I want to went through all went through with you and you know it all right so let's fix it How like we we're fix always it? fixing stuff yeah we're always fixing the same thing over and yeah. over and over again me cheating i'm always cheating right i'm always cheating so if i'm always cheating why are you still with me because i love you leave me if i'm doing you wrong if I i'm cheating on you i'm gonna give you a friendly advice if he's doing you dirty and he's not treating you right and you're unhappy Leave him. I did. Plain and simple. I did. If you're miserable and not happy, leave me. I did. That's it. All right, so it's over then. It is. It's over. There's no more for me to talk about. Nothing. Nothing. If he passes this, you'll stop accusing him? He's not going to pass it. If of he, course I'm not. If he passes it, I'm going to find not. me a therapist and tell them that I'm nuts. Okay, so if he passes, you're going to find a therapist and tell him you're nuts? Yes. Okay. Let's find out if you're nuts. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Giovanni, uh, I guess right off the bat, he confessed to having sexual contact and intercourse with one female the time around New Year's. Did you know about that? That's the Viagra and the Cialis. Oh, okay. <laughs> other than the one time since October 2010, have you had any other sexual physical contact with any other women besides Dorothy? No. He answered no. Um, other than the one time since October 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women besides Dorothy? And you said no. no. Uh, more than two other women? No. And he said no. And the results came back all the same. And it came back that he did not tell the truth. You Wow, so I lied on all of them. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've been with uh, numerous <laughs> women. Right. Yeah. Wow. I mean, okay, okay. Wow. Shh, 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 shh. She's not here. She, you can see, she ran all the way in the hallway. This is, the this is time, correct, right? The only time that I cheated but, on her was but, that one time. But say this is correct. This is all correct. All correct? Yeah, it's all, you, you lied. Okay, I lied. Yeah, that's okay, that's right. Yeah. So you meant that you lied? I, no, I I lied uh, to her about the <laughs> okay, time well, that I was really with her, which okay. was the New Year. She can't hear That's you. That's the only time. She's running down the hallway. Right, but even not, it's, I don't want her to hear It me. says more than two other women. It wasn't no more than no two other women. That's a lie. <laughs> I think she's leaving. <laughs> Do you want to know her results? <laughs> yeah. Do you think she cheated? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think so. But if she did, I guess we're going to find out now. We've never had somebody out in the parking lot when we read their results. She took a lie detector test, and we asked her, since October 2010, have you had any other sexual physical contact with other men besides Giovanni? She said no. Since October 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides Giovanni? She said no, and both questions came back the same. Same result. Um, same result as yours. She didn't tell the truth. So she lied to Thank you, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Would you like to go and uh, confront her? Confront nobody? Yes. To tell you the truth? How about that? Yeah. You don't know your results? Use a cheater too. Yeah. Use a cheater too. You run him from a cheater and use the cheater? One time. One time? Three days you disappeared. One time? Uh, it says no, 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 no. Came back, you lied about everything. No, that's well, just, not true. Uh, well, I mean, yes, it's, it's so, true. It says you did cheat. Look uh, on the paper. Uh, you're both. You know what? You go to hell. I will. Go find one of your crackheads and go bang her and go live with her. Oh, yeah, crackhead. You really can't patch it up? No, hell no. But you too. Hell no, he need to go patch his ass up. Okay. Dirty. So the relationship is over, right? Yeah, it's over. Um, and you'll be good to your son. Yeah, definitely. All right. Good luck to you. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Pregnant. Yes, I am. He thinks it may be his brother's child. That's insane. He's young. He's 18 years old, bro. Any female that's seduced him can have sex. You've done things to try to catch her. Gee. Yeah, I did. Like what? Left her on my tape recorder. But then he gets the recording and comes back and tells me, well, I can hear you giving oral sex in the background. I know there's nothing there. I haven't done you're, anything. So you're not sleeping with his brother? No, I'm not sleeping with anyone. I want to know if she's been faithful. Okay, let's find out. What was it about her that you love so much? Smoking hot? Nah, I mean, it's just... <laughs> you got a lot to learn about being married. 
What makes you think that your wife slept with your brother? Me and my brother got in an argument, and that's the first thing that came out of his mouth. That's why I had sex with your wife. My brother's wife did have sex with me. I don't care how drunk I was. I know what she did. She knows what she did. She's cheating on my brother. Were you drinking with his brother? Yeah, I did have a couple drinks with his brother. I was mad. I was upset. I didn't sleep with his brother. She just lies about everything. If she fails, it's over. Yeah. Cassandra and Dion had a great relationship until they moved in with his brother, Josh. Because since then, Dion believes that Cassandra has been having sex with Josh and that she may be pregnant with his child. Take a look. My girlfriend's pregnant. Things have happened that got me thinking that she's not faithful. I'm confused because my girl, she leaves at night. We argue, she disappears. She runs around and I chase her for hours and I can't find her. Where are you? What are you doing? Are you with me or are you with someone else? Which makes me think that it could be someone else's baby. We're living with my younger brother. He just moved in with us and, and, and I'm just questioning, why, why are you disappearing, you know? In the middle of the night, I will wake up two o'clock to three o'clock in the morning. She'd be out of the room. I don't know where she is. And I think maybe if he, she's hooking up with him in the house or not, you know. My brother's only 18 years old. He's young, you know, he's naive. And, and, and I know he can be seduced by a woman that's pretty. I've left my phone on record all night as I slept to see if I can hear anything in the background or any movements or any other voices or things going on to try to see if I can catch in the action. It's driving me crazy. I mean, I'm sleeping up against the door to make sure nobody's coming in and out and I'm just, ah, uh, I'm losing my mind. She's tired of, of me accusing her. She's tired of me wondering if she's faithful or asking her if she's been with anybody. And I understand, but I'm tired of not being answered because there's no answer. Every time I ask her, it's just, oh, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. I do love her very much, and I do want to be with her. But if she's cheating, i got to leave. Um, are you cheating on Dia? No, I'm not cheating on Dion. I get up and leave for whatever he says hours at a time because I don't have to let you sit there and talk to me the way you talk to me, telling me that I've been out with other men. You, first you ask me, and then when I give you the answer three or four times, you, you turn around and you tell me what I did. You know how many guys I've been with. You know what I mean? And your, your brother, he's... You told him about your past? Yes, I have. I've been very honest with Dion. Not a good idea. Okay. Um... <laughs> So how long have you been with uh, Dion? Over a year. Over a year. And you love him? Very much. And the relationship was, was going pretty, pretty it was, good. It was going pretty good until his insecurity, his insecurity, I guess, from previous marriage or whatever. But that's not my fault. I've been good to him. I've been faithful. I cut off all ties with other people, you know. So you're not sleeping with his brother? No, I'm not sleeping with anyone. But he accuses you of sleeping all with him? All the time, all the time. He sleeps against the door so he can monitor how many times I get up and go to the bathroom, and I, and I let him know when I go anyway. And it's, okay, I mean, <laughs> but how, how is it to live life like that? Like, I can't imagine, like, I wake up at 3 in the morning, and my wife's laying on the floor, you know. It's... Gotta <laughs> go pee. It's not... It's, <laughs> It, it makes, it pisses me off, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, I, I trust you, even at, even though you cheated on me four different times. He cheated on you? He cheated on me four times, and he thinks just because it's with two women. Why did you take him back? Because I love him, and I didn't go cheat on him, I stayed. He cheated with four times? Four times. With how many different women? Two, but that's still four times, I don't care. And you stayed faithful? I stayed faithful. I mean, you're pretty forgiving. I am, I'm a forgiving person. I'm also a loving person, though. I try to make my relationship work. Oh. I love him. I love him. I uh, understand that you're pregnant. Yes, I am. Uh, uh, and how far along are you? Um, 11 weeks and three days. And do you know what you're having? No, I think it's a girl. Oh, you think it's a girl. Well, congratulations. Uh, that's, that's exciting. Um, now... The bad part of that, he thinks it may be his brother's child. That's insane. That, that is kind of crazy, right? Well, how could it be your brother's child if I've never slept with your brother? Just like he has the recordings, like hours of recordings of nothing, but then he gets the recording and he comes back and tells me, well, I can hear you giving oral sex in the background. What? I can hear you. Like, how, dude, how could you hear me if, uh, if it hasn't happened? What, uh, how, what do you mean record? Record what? What does he... He'll take the recorder and I guess without me knowing on his phone and just leave it laying somewhere. Like he left it in the bathroom under the sink one day so he could, uh, and he swears he hears, you know, 
things on there. His brother saying things to me. You know, he can hear sexual actions and sexual things being said in the in the bathroom. And in, in in the recording. Oh right. It, it's in the bathroom. So everything you can eat that's going on out. I'm in the, I was in the room sleep while you're recording them talking all their stuff out there. When I did get up, I cleaned up the room and then I went in the bathroom and went and got in the shower and still didn't know that the recorder was under the sink. And when he came back home, I was getting out of the shower. Did did you ever listen to these recordings? No. He always he never played them for you? No, I mean he plays snippets, but I there's nothing. I know there's nothing there. I haven't done you anything. You so. don't ever hear anything. I of course I don't because I didn't do anything. Um what am I listening for? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> do you do you think he's cheating? I've thought he's you know after after he told me before I've thought, you know, that he's went out, you know what I mean, and probably mingled with other people, but I, I still trust him, even though. But I mean, mingle with clothes on or off. Well, I, I really don't. I don't try to let my mind go that far, but cheating is cheating. <laughs> cheating is cheating. He's young. He's 18 years old, bro. Any female that's seducing can have sex. You've done things to try to catch her. Cheating? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Let her run my tape before you. He smokes so much marijuana, we can't test him. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. <laughs> but you guys were testable. He's young. He's 18 years old, bro. Any female that's seducing can have sex. You've done things to try to catch her. She? Yeah, I yeah. did. Like what? Let them run my tape before you. Cheating is, you know... To me, it's not like a, a serious offense. I mean, it hurts people's feelings, but it's you're not, wrong. It's wrong. You're not committing a crime, is what I'm trying to say. But in your situation, it is a little different because now you're carrying his child. Yes. And if he's cheating on you, it complicates it, you know, that much more, right? Yeah, it does. But because I'm not if, what, if you, what if you're here today, and now you're 11 and a half weeks pregnant, and you find out he's cheating? I will leave Dion because he's put me through so much, accusing me of cheating, and I've five times, and you're out. And I haven't, I haven't cheated, but I mean, I haven't. Not even that. It's because I, I haven't cheated. I've been fa totally faithful to you in this relationship. Even took you and back. He's put you out with his brother. Yes. Okay. And, and um, I'm gone. You know, I don't deserve it. I'm well, let's out. let's meet your boyfriend, Dion. Now you know you want to take this. But you said that I'm you did fair. not hear my brother say anything about me and you lied about it. So the first thing when I heard you lie, I, honey, I, heard your I brother doubted say you something about all the way peeves. about everything. But as far as me being physical okay? with anybody, I'm He's been physical with anybody. He's only talking about his pet peeves. Okay. He's only talking about we're, we're, we're heavy on him. Okay, you don't but, want okay, us okay, there. But you said you didn't hear none of that. That's the only thing I was there for. You said you didn't hear none of that. That's the only thing I was there for. That makes me think that you're not being faithful to me. You think I'm cheating on you anyway and I'm being faithful to you. You cheated on me. Okay, no. You cheated on me. We were living together when that happened. We were together. We slept together. That was it. No, we, we were together. together. No, we, not, we was not together. We was together. No, we was not. Sandra. How we went together was Sandra, together. I had just met you. I didn't even we were really together. Know. Okay, towards the towards We were the together, end. Dion. I don't care what you say. We were together. Nah, and I, I've been faithful I, to I, you. I and I'm really, leaving. I don't, I don't deserve no, to be treated why, like I, that. Why, isn't it when your woman's pregnant, isn't that supposed to be like a joyous occasion? It's supposed to be. Yeah. But it's that's not, not, it's not it was, for you. Nah, that was supposed to be happy for me. I was happy when she first told me. But when she started. And what has changed? And the way she was acting. She, how, how was she acting? She didn't even want to touch me. I asked her, I said, let's be together. She don't know. I'm tired of I know. No, just, oh, come on. Well, could it be it's, because she's pregnant? I thought about it. I thought about it, but you know what I'm saying? We just been there for three, two months, and... You think she's cheating on you? Yeah, I do. Why? Because she does. She, she, she leaves me, and she be gone for because hours, bro. Because I don't have bro. to let you see. I don't have to listen and to you And when I finally like find her, Where does she go to? I don't know. I, I walk around the city to look for her, man, for hours. And I, when I find her, I see her on a bus and stop I'm with somebody. I'm always sitting somewhere you know simple in public. Like, you see her on a bus stop? I mean, she sits on a bus stop. I'm always in public. Away from me. But the point is, she can't have sex on a bus stop, can she? I mean, no, she can't. But you can you can initiate the conversation on the bus stop. So you think somewhere and walk away. You think in her condition, she's out in public, Meeting strangers, initiating sex. Well, yeah, he tells me I go behind buildings and everything. Or doing anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know he what he she's doing. Do you love her? Me. Yeah, I do. And this is how you talk about her? No, I don't. This is the way. This is what I've been going through with her. You feel me? 
He's, I've been trying to hang tight. Even, I've been trying to hold on. I, I, I could have been there. Before that. I could have just walked he's away. He's been accusing me since before you're, his brother, though. But you're here because you believe that she slept with your brother. Well, I believe she slept with people. I don't know if she slept with my brother or not, but she made me think that she did because as soon as we got down there, she never got up that many times at night before we left. When we left San Bernardino, I'm when we got down there, okay, all right. <laughs> Cool. So you you think that not only she might have slept with your brother, I mean, is that something your brother would do to you? He's young. He's 18 years old, bro. I mean, a young a young man at 18 years old, any female that's seduced him can have sex with him. Like any but you going around accusing innocent you. people. Well, that's not easy to seduce me. It's yeah, not nah, easy nah, to seduce easy. you? Nah, it's not easy She to said to you me. slept with two different women in the short time you've been together with her. Yeah, I slept with two different Four women. Four times. Four times. I slept with two different women. When I met her, when I first met her, and I didn't know what type of female we she was or what together. she was about. We were still together. I talked to her. We were hooked up. We talked. You know what I'm saying? Hooked up with somebody else. I didn't even know her that well. Feel me? But then she came to me crying. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you <laughs> got feelings? Because we were together. If you got feelings, then I'm going to have to. You uh, asked uh, me to uh, be uh, your girl. Why are you here today? I want to know if she's been faithful. Because I know I did cheat. And I know I told her about it. You know what I'm saying? So I you're know. saying you did cheat. I mean, because she said it. It was cheating. So I have to respect her. If she sees it as cheating, then to her it's cheating. So I apologize. You feel me? I and you, have, and you haven't cheated since then? Not since then. Not nothing? No, I ain't had sex with nobody since I You since, can't seduce you. Then. Right? Excuse me? You can't seduce you. Well, I won't let you. I won't let you. Well, not me. I mean, anybody. I mean, female, you know, whatever. I won't let nobody see you. <laughs> I'm saying, so if you went out tonight and she stayed in the hotel and you were out having drinks and some gorgeous women came up to you and said, hey. It's already happened. It's what? It's happened. <laughs> yeah, it has. And what did she say? I mean, they, she didn't try to, you know, pull me, but she just was like, you know, looking at me, you know, saying hi. And she was gorgeous? No, she was pretty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah saying hi and stuff like and that. And so if she said, hey, come back to my hotel room, do you want to go? Nah. I, I don't want to cheat on her. I don't. He smokes so much marijuana, we can't test him. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. <laughs> Cassandra, we asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with Deion's brother, Josh? You answered no. And the results came back that Cassandra. He smokes so much marijuana, we can't test him. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. <laughs> You've done things to try to catch her. Cheating. Yeah, I did. Like what? Left it on my tape recorder. You know what I'm saying? Did Left you hear anything? Did you hear anything, Evans? I did. I hear people on there talking about me. I hear my brother on there talking about me, telling me, talking bad about me, but he doesn't tell me to my face. When I asked her. Okay, but that's your no. brother talking about you. Mm -hmm. Not her. He's talking to her. Yeah, so. Why didn't he tell me? Maybe she doesn't want to cause problems between that's what two I brothers. Thought too. I heard that too. You I heard, heard that, that too. too. Yeah, somebody said that because I brought it up to a lot of people. But, but so you never had evidence that she was having sex. Let him tell it, he do. <laughs> well, do, do you I, lay, do I, you I, lay do you count how many times she goes to the bathroom at night? He Man. lays in front of the door. I don't like to be asleep, and people, you know what I'm saying? I told her, you know, if you're going to get up and leave, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like for people to I'm get out the bed. I'm going to I'm going to pee. What is okay. wrong with you? Well, tell me, because there's a lot of people in this house, and we just moved in here. So you'll sleep on the floor? Yeah. Against oh. the door. Yeah, I will. Oh, I'm crazy that, I mean, that's like crazy. I'm crazy with right? you, man. I don't know. I'm just crazy, but I'm not going to let you do it Does to me. Does that scare I, you I, that I... he's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> he's sleeping on the floor? Man, it's, you can't go out the door. Because there's no because limit I, I can go to to show him wake up that I'm still. No, no, no. Well, sometimes, but at night, man, you know, because I'm like, man, you won't even touch me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to be intimate with her, man. She want to touch me. I think she want to go out there. So it was one time he was like that with me. And, and you ain't going to be intimate with me. You ain't going to go out be intimate with nobody. When you were trying to lay down. So what if she, you came all the way from California to come out here and flow all the way out here? And what if she passes this light if I could touch? Right, she passed. I got to apologize. I got I to gotta eat my words. I mean, but the thing is, is that I just wanted well, to know the truth. Well, you sleep in bed again. Yeah. <laughs> You're not in Springer. <laughs> Um, and you feel pretty confident that you passed your lie detector test. Yeah. What if, what if you fail? Well, if I failed, I don't know. <laughs> That's amazing. See, right there tells me you failed. If I failed, then 
she could have failed too and be telling the truth. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> so, um, we brought your brother out here because he's essential to the story, saying, you know, he thinks that his, and that's your brother backstage. Um, and we tried to give him a test, but he's untestable. Was he See? Say why. Say why, Steve. Because he was smoking. No, no, no. Say why, Steve. Why? Steve? <laughs> <laughs> He's smoking, too. <laughs> California dream. Because he smoked so much marijuana, we can't test him. <laughs> he doesn't even know where he's at right now. <laughs> But you guys were testable because you didn't, well, you're not smoking at all, right? No. Because you're pregnant. Right. You can't do that. Right. And you laid off enough for long enough. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest about that. All right, Cassandra, you took a lie detector test. And by the way, we both got conclusive results for both of you. All right. Cassandra, we asked you, have you had sexual physical contact with Dan's brother, Josh? You answered no. Have you had sexual intercourse with Dion's brother, Josh? You answered no. Since you started dating Dion, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone else? And you said no. Could anyone else be the father of your unborn child? And she answered no. And the results came back all the same. And they came back that Cassandra told the truth. What are you I sent you through hell. I apologize. You took me to all that for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I love you. Sorry. <laughs> and I still stay with you. I'm sorry. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should we just end the show right there? Let's end that story right here, right? No, we want to hear my results. Are you, do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I don't. You just had this wonderful emotional moment. You're hugging, you're kissing. You said, baby, let's just go home. Love her though, you know? I wanted her to be true, I did, I really did. She is. I'm proud, man. I, 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 I'm a so lips, man. I ain't saying nothing to you about nothing, never. Well, eh, you're lying again. Or I mean, we don't know I anymore. mean, not about that. Right. Not about none of that. I ain't gonna question you no more. I promise you. And you know what? If you probably didn't smoke as much, you probably wouldn't make his paranoid, right? Right. You know, you know, I'm just saying. That's, that's, really, that's true. In the past six months, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone other than Cassandra? And he said, no. And you know what the results for your lie detector test is? It should be. I was telling the truth. It should, right? Yeah. What was it about her that you love so much? Smoking hot? No, I mean, it's no. just... <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about being married. In the past six months, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone other than Cassandra? And he said, no. And you know what the results for your lie detector test is? It should be. I was telling the truth. It should, right? Yeah. How many people think uh, Dion is going to pass his lie detector test? Really? No. So, two people in the back. But they won't keep their hand up. This guy over here. She's scratching her eyebrow. And this guy over there. Oh, and her too. You think he's going to pass? No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> There's another pot smoker over there. <laughs> Man, Steve, I don't know. <laughs> and he's staring at you now. 
All right, Dion, you came here. Three people thought you were telling the truth. What does that tell you? Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in the midst. What does that All mean? All I need is three people. Oh, you only need three people. Like on a jury, right? Nah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> before, before I would the stop new right there. I before. would stop right there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go any farther. Yeah. Uh, Dion, we asked him, in the past six months, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone other than Cassandra? And he said, no. In the past six months, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Cassandra? What did you say? No. Yeah? In the past month, have you had any type of sexual contact with anyone other than Cassandra? And what did you say? No. And you know what the results for your lie detector test is? It should be. I was telling the truth. Yeah. It should, right? Yeah. You told the truth. <laughs> Are you asking her to marry you right now? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is this is something different. We normally the accuser usually fails. Usually goes up in flames. And I see you're pretty emotional. Like you're I've been you're, through hell, man. Again. Still. I know. I'm Maybe. sorry. I didn't want to take you through this, but every relationship before you was crap, that, burning that crash. Me, Understood. I was trying to show you different. Understood. Now you have this opportunity where you have a woman that's faithful to you. She's given you a child, and you might need to, you know, make some changes in your recreational activity. Yeah. So that you don't become paranoid about certain things, right? right. And maybe say, hey, little bro, instead of a a joint, let's have a beer. Right. Okay? <laughs> right, this bud's for you, right? <laughs> All right. Um, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful pregnancy. Thank you. And if he gets out of line again and starts questioning you, you give me a call and we'll handle it from there. Okay? What makes you think that your wife slept with your brother? Me and my brother got in an argument, and that's the first thing that came out of his mouth. That's why I had sex with your wife. My brother's wife did have sex with me. I don't care how drunk I was. I know what she did. She knows what she did. She's cheating on my brother. Were you drinking with his brother? Yeah, I did have a couple of drinks with his brother. I was mad. I was upset. I didn't sleep with his brother. She just lies about everything. What makes you think that your wife slept with your brother? Me and my brother got in an argument, and that's the first thing that came out of his mouth. That's why I had sex with your wife. My brother's wife did have sex with me. I don't care how drunk I was. I know what she did. She knows what she did. She's cheating on my brother. Sean believes his wife for one year, Jamie, cheated on him with his brother, Chuck. <laughs> According to Sean, Jamie blacked out during a night of drinking and does not remember having sex with Chuck. But Chuck remembers and he confessed to sleeping with his brother's wife. Sean needs to find out for sure if his brother is lying or his wife is cheating. Uh, Sean, how long have you been married? Uh, a year. A year. And um, you get married, happily married, right? Yeah. And, and it was going good after you got married? Yeah, it was going good for, like, the first couple months. I mean, done everything for her, take care of her five kids. She's got five kids? Yes. Kind of a big... Res Did you have any kids? No. So you, you married a woman with five kids, and that's taken on a big responsibility, right? Yeah. What was it about her that you loved so much? Um... I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, you the, the you kids, I mean, I love the kids, too. You love so. the kids, too. Yeah. But what, anything about her, like, you ask most men why they got married, and they're like, oh, I love my wife because of this or that. You can't give me a reason? Mm. 
<laughs> Smoke, smoking, uh, smoking hot? No, I mean it's no. just. <laughs> I mean it's just how she is, you know. She's a good person. See, so. you you got a lot to learn about being married. <laughs> yeah. No, she's a good person. She's so. a good person. Yeah. And a good mom. And a good so. mom. And these are things that you want in a wife. Um, what makes you think that your wife slept with your brother? Well, we got an argument, and I took off, and I came. I mean, she don't drink, so I came back home, and apparently, I mean, she don't even like my brother anyways. So I came home, all of a sudden, she's drinking with my brother, so. <laughs> you were like, that's like, kind what of the you don't You talk about him, then, so, and you don't drink. Now you're drinking and hanging and out talking. with my brother when I'm gone. Drinking know? and talking. Yeah, so. Leads to... Well, I don't know what it leads to, but <laughs> I thought maybe you knew. Yeah. Um, what makes you think that they slept together? Well, because me and my brother got in an argument, and that's the first thing that came out of his mouth. That's why I had sex with your wife. Oh. So, I mean, I mean, we've been in arguments plenty of times before, so, right. I mean, he never said that. So yeah. when he says, and that's why I slept with your wife, well, how did you react to that? I mean, I really don't want to believe him, but... I'm what did, what did he say happened? He didn't really say what happened. I mean, he's not telling me that. So he just keeps telling me that he's had sex with my wife. I Numer ask her, she's no. And then numerous times? Yeah. He says numerous times. Yeah. So your wife just kind of like drinking? I guess so. <laughs> um, do you think maybe she has slept around with anybody else? Well, I went to her work one day to bring her flowers and... She was eating lunch and some, with some other guy. So. Okay. Nobody's ever ate lunch with a coworker. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, I, she works at a nursing home, and everybody's got assigned uniforms to wear. And he she didn't have no uniform on. So. Oh, so this wasn't exactly a coworker. Yeah, this was well, a guy. that's what I'm thinking. Because he didn't have the uniform on. Yeah. Well, she, like, met me halfway and, like, stopped me so I wouldn't walk all the way up there to see who the dude was, you know, so. So she saw you and made a beeline for you? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. What did she say about that? She just said that that was a co-worker or whatever, but the next day, dude got fired somehow. <laughs> <laughs> for, maybe for being out of his yeah. uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so... You've been married a year. I mean, does your wife strike you as being faithful? Mm. She just lies about everything, so, I mean. Okay, so I got to ask you, Sean, why the hell did you get married? Yeah. Well, I... Because I love her and... Yeah, you say you love her, but you can't tell me why. You say <laughs> she's lying all the time. I mean, what, what exactly did you fall in love with? Yeah. Probably the kids, then. <laughs> you fell in love with the kids. I mean, the kids, you know, they need a dad, and so. Are you you and your brother pretty close? Uh, yeah. You are close. Well, we was. <laughs> well, until he slept with your wife. Yeah. Or, but you, you have doubt, though, that he actually did this. Yeah. Because your wife. I mean, he talks a lot of stuff, you know, so. And I your mean, wife He does? can just be saying that because he knows how much I love her, and he's just trying to... And your wife has denied it. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do, Sean, I'm going to have you leave the stage. I'm going to talk okay. to Jamie, and then we'll bring you up for the results. Okay. Were you drinking with his brother? Yeah, I did have a couple of drinks with his brother. I was mad. I was upset. If she fails, it's over. Yeah. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone since being with Sean? chance no and it came back to Jamie were you drinking with his brother yeah I did have a couple drinks with his brother I was mad I was upset if she fails it's over yeah you love your husband I do love which my husband. you know he tells his story and he might be nervous because he's on TV yeah. but he says, hey, uh, he, you're a good mom, he says, uh, loves your kids. And I think that's, I mean, a young guy to step in and take care of five kids that aren't his. Great. That's right. pretty open-hearted right. guy, right? 
Um, what do you want to say about him? How uh, is he a good guy? Good yeah, modest? Sean's a good guy. He's he's a good provider. He's you know he he is a little jealous and secure. But other than that, you know, we get along, and I mean, we try to. We, what did good. you guys get in a fight about when he stormed off? You know, I really I'm not really like on it like that. But we started arguing because we was we like in between houses, so we've been staying with his family. And staying with families really, stress. yeah, it's a lot of stress. So we start arguing about being there and trying to get things back on, our, you know, get, get back on our feet or whatever. So uh, it just got out of control, and you know, you start nitpicking it. Yeah, he left. He left me at his his family's house. So. And then you said, "Hey, give me a Budweiser." No, I didn't say <laughs> that. But I sat there and I waited for quite a while, and he never he never He's came back. He says you don't drink. I don't drink. But he said when he I left, did. you started drinking. I did. Why? I don't know. Just I was mad. I was upset. I didn't do it to get drunk. Were you drunk drinking or, with his brother? Yeah, I did have a couple of drinks with his brother. And just casual talking. Yeah. No. Just talking. No kissing. No. Or, no. No. All right. Um, and then he says he came to bring you flowers at work, and you were with some guy that wasn't working there. He did work there. It, um, he didn't work there long, but he was. You know, not a lot of people like working in their home, so sometimes things don't work out. So he wasn't there long. But, yeah, I was sitting there eating with somebody. And Which, we was arguing right. about, you know, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Right. You know, if it was a woman, I'd still be sitting there. Right. Or, and he said you came running over to stop him. So he well, yeah, when I guy. seen him walking with the flowers, yeah, I got up and I started walking. I see my husband walking down the hall with flowers. So, yeah, I went to greet him. So nothing. I mean, right. Here's two different perceptions. He sees it as you're talking to some guy. And you're stopping him from meeting the guy, and you're saying, "Hey, my husband's coming down the hallway with flowers. I'm happy." Right. And you say the night that you got into an argument with him, you were mad that he left. You're stressed out staying with his family. You start having a couple of drinks, and his brother's there. He's having a couple of drinks, so you're going to talk to him. Right. Big misunderstanding. Yeah. Is it possible that you were really intoxicated and passed out, and his brother slept with you? I don't believe so. Did you pass out? Yes, I did. You did pass I did. out? I did. I mean, I, I, I didn't drink that much. I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. And it might have been not so. even passing out. You put your head back and you went to yeah, sleep. Yeah, I was tired. I was upset that he wasn't there. Hey, he I, left I like me to alone. give people the benefit of the doubt. So, I mean, he now, didn't Now, I'm not saying is you didn't wake up in all your clothes were No, you? no. All right. You know, his brother went to him and said, hey, I had sex with your wife numerous times. Oh, well. Actually, they were arguing that day. See, I don't think Chuck likes me. And um, The brother. The brother. And I don't know if he's jealous of our relationship because it's something that he doesn't have. But he did, and he didn't argue. He's like, yeah, that's why I, you're with your wife, you know? And he's like, what? And then they, they've been fighting ever since then. I mean, they, they ran out in the house. They got in a fight. And, but I don't know why he would. It's just jealousy. Do you think the brother wants to be with you? No, I don't think so. No, why he just does... don't want me around. Why doesn't he want you around? Because him and Sean are like buddies, and now that he's with me and the kids, he he's doesn't have time to. Yeah, he don't have time to run out and drink or party or take him here, take him there, do things with him. Okay, let's uh, bring your husband okay. back out. <laughs> okay. Your your brother did leave a voicemail. We're gonna play that now. This is Charles. I'm calling to let you know that uh, my brother's wife did have sex with me. I don't care how drunk I was. I know what she did. She knows what she did. She's cheating on my brother. She needs to be held accountable for it, for real. I mean, she did what she did, so she needs to be able to admit to it and at least let my brother move on, let him know. And how many other people has she cheated on him with? I mean, he needs to know what his wife's doing. I mean, why would you marry somebody and then have a relationship based on nothing but lies and cheating? You know, that's that's not what's up. Yeah. See, why are you saying that for? I, it's kind Sean, of very matter of fact in his voice now. You know? Right? It's just kind of like, yeah, you know, I still have my brother's wife, and uh, he needs to know, and that's, I find that a little unusual. Why isn't your brother here? <laughs> oh, you couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Now, I've been told by my wife that he said he would come twice, we booked him a plane ticket. He went to the airport, and both times at the last minute, he turned around and said, I'm not coming. Yeah. Why would a guy do that? He, he doesn't want to meet me? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a couple drinks with him.
If she fails, it's over. Yeah. Why don't you tell your husband how you feel about him? I love you. I've been with you for three years. My kids call you dad. They love you. I'm a good wife to you. I haven't done anything. I don't run around. I don't, I don't cheat on you. I don't disrespect you. I don't take off. I've been good to you. And, I mean, that's why we're here. Uh -huh. We'll get the results, and this, this all has to stop. Yeah. We can't go home and keep doing this to each other. Well, it's not good for the kids either. No, it's not. Jamie, you came here to save your marriage. You took a lie detector test. And we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone since being with Sean? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with anyone since being with Sean? She said no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Sean's brother, Chuck? And she said no. Have you ever had any sexual contact with Sean's brother, Chuck? And she said no. And the results came back, and they came back all the same. And it came back that Jamie told the truth. Look at that, right? Good results. You got a good wife. You've been worrying about a bunch of nonsense for nothing, right? Yeah. And now uh, you can go back and continue this marriage. And the one thing you do need to go back is have a little conversation yeah. with your brother. Yeah, I know. <laughs>